Okay, we are live and let me go ahead and hit record. And I am recording. All right, here we go. Where's my stuff here? Let's see what we have. We have, oh, a couple of viewers already. Gosh, I just started. Guys, uh, error not receiving enough video. Here we go with that error again. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like everything's okay though, as I look at the stream. Let me go ahead and open my widget here and see what it says. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain a smooth stream. I probably should have rebooted my router down here, but I am recording and primarily that is what I'm concerned about. And it looks like I am ISO recording, so I've got plenty of things working there. Oh, yep, I just got a little buffering over here as I was watching my stream. That's not good. Uh, hopefully that'll work itself out here in just a little bit. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and not worry about that. Oh, wow, it is really buffering. Um, I wonder if I should pop off, reset my router. Uh, I'm not getting another error, though. Let me go ahead and see if we can work with that. Anybody online can tell me. Hey, good morning, Xander. Uh, 6.30 here. Hey, let me know how the stream is going, Xander. It seems a little iffy for me. Uh, I'm getting some, some like, um, scrolly, or... Um, the weight thing showing up when I look at my preview. It looks like maybe it's cleared up though. So maybe it was just a hiccup. But again, what I am doing is I'm recording this. I'm actually recording it for multiple cameras. So I've got this recording. I've got this recording. I don't have that one. I do have this one recording over here though, which is kind of cool. Uh, my Mac is probably recording, but I don't need it. Really all I need today are this and this. So I'll be setting up the screen here. Oh, not not that yeah that one right there that's the windows machine if you can believe it so that is set up again haven't seen any more errors so i think i'm all right uh i think i see buffer yeah let me know it seems like it cleared out for me xander so we'll see how it goes it may just be you and me to hanging out today but uh let me just kind of go ahead and roll into what is the plan today and it is going to be really interesting um what i plan to do and make sure I have the right thing on the screen, is I'm going to try and give this a shot. This is the, uh, not the, it's 60 or C64OS. And I ordered this before Christmas and really wanted to give this a shot. And what it is, is it's a GUI for your Commodore 64. It's brand new, uh, it has just been released. As a matter of fact, it's got a 2022 uh, by opcoders. I've seen a lot of stuff online about it and I really wanted to get it working. There's a couple of things I want to do with it. I want to today see if I can get it working under Vice. So that is why I have the Windows machine up and uh, that is uh, going to be a challenge for me because if there's anything complicated behind the Windows scene on the back end outside of Vice then I'm not going to be doing so well because I am not a Windows user. Uh, and uh, Xander, thank you, says yes I'm waiting uh, Yes, wait, things every time. Yeah, okay, so things are getting better there. Good. Uh, and I haven't seen any other errors either, so I think we're okay. Hey, Matthew, thanks for popping in. Uh, good to have you here. So one of the things that's interesting about C64 OS is that it will run on specific hardware. It does, it, it, uh, it looks for a Commodore 64. There are instructions for Vice, and as you going to see they're pretty complicated I have just skimmed them I haven't really looked at them so we're gonna be looking at those and what I plan to do is do a little side by side with a little vice up here maybe a picture in picture and we'll get all that set up here in a minute uh, but we're gonna see if we can get it working and I know I have to buy something so we'll be buying something along the way we have to get the uh, the CMD ROM, uh, luckily I have Jiffy ROMs and some other things, but it really wants a hard drive. And so we'll be uh, setting up a virtual hard drive for this as well. It should be kind of fun, but it should be kind of challenging. And uh, it's snowy here where I am and nobody really wants to be outside right now. I might go out a little bit later for a, a snow run this afternoon. But I just thought this would be a blast to try and get it running on the uh, Vice. So... Uh, again, Matthew and Xander, thanks for joining. We'll see if anybody else pops in. If you are watching and you're not in chat, please pop in the chat. I got you over here so I can take a look and see who's joining. We'd love to have you. I'll try and answer questions as we go, uh, but I'm going to try and focus on getting this installed. And hey, uh, Ross Vohas Rasta Retro and Resistance to Pavilion. What is C64 OS? Some Mega 65 doing? It is not Mega 65 related. 
I'm not sure it will work on the Mega 65, but if you look closely right there, you can see it's, it's kind of a GUI for the C64. And again, I'm gonna set it up in Vice, but eventually I'm hoping that uh, maybe we'll figure out how to get it running on the Mega 65 in C64 mode. That would be quite interesting. So sound okay, video okay, good, thank you. So we will, uh, we will, first of all, I just need to get familiar with it, and that's what today is. This is very much an ad hoc live stream. As I, if you looked at the video description, or if you saw my tweet, if you saw my Discord, I have not prepared for this at all. We're just gonna do it and we're gonna see how it goes and we're gonna cross our fingers and hopefully at the end of about an hour or so, we've got C64 OS running in Vice. No guarantees whatsoever, all right? But I am recording, so I'm getting this captured. And so I'll either take this recording and edit it, edit, make an edit as a prepared video package because I am recording all these different inputs or I might just go through the process today and then re-document and re-record step by step. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, if it's a complete disaster, I'll probably do the latter. If it goes okay, then maybe I'll just edit this down and use it. I, I'm doubting at this point that this will stay live. Probably after the live stream, after about 24 hours, I'll probably take this one down. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and see if we can get our screen set up here first. And then I'll, well, I'll tell you what, let me talk about C64 OS. What do you get, right? So when you spend, and I, you know, this is how unprepared I am. I don't remember. I think it was about 60 bucks uh, for this. And what you get is you get the manual. Let's see, maybe I have the receipt in here. Oh, I'm sorry, it was da, 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 $64 Canadian. Uh, that's what I paid for it. So that is the cost. And you get this book right here. But inside, this is kind of nice, you get a SD card complete with all the files you need. Now, what I have done is I have taken the contents of the SD card right here, and I have copied them over to Google Drive as a backup. And that was recommended in the book. Please do not ask. I'm not going to be sharing any of these files because... The folks over here at Oders would really like to make a little money. So uh, I don't blame them. We want to support them in this effort. And uh, I took the uh, monetary hit so you don't have to. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, later, if you look at it and say, ooh, that's really intriguing, you can get your own copy. And let's see, you can get that at, let's see, Opcode. I believe it's Opcoders. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. I'm going to pull up their website in just a second. So that's here. Let's see. Hey, we've got somebody else. Uh, Terrapin1 stream is breaking up bad for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for me, it's stuttering, Matthew, uh, nonstop. I had to re... Oh, gosh. Uh, let me check and see if I'm still getting errors here. Interesting. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Oh, now it says excellent right now. So maybe it's cleared up. One of these days, I'm going to figure it out why I'm getting these errors. I do think uh, I should have uh, restarted my router. I do have Google Fi. I, should, I have another unit down here. I probably should have restarted that before the stream. But if I do it now then we're a nightmare. So again, I'm recording all this on the back end. So I have everything I need. Apologies for the stuttering. I will get all that worked out soon. So it looks like eight of you have joined in. Thank you for uh, popping in. All right, let's go ahead and get our screen set up. So what I'm going to do, here's our screen. Now I have, again, I am not a great Windows user, uh, but we are going to set up a few things here. We are going to, first of all, I probably want to do, a, and we're going to set it up and kind of stay there. We're going to turn on our picture in picture. That works pretty good. Let's put me uh, let's put me down at the bottom. What do you think? Yeah, you don't need to see that down there. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to pull up the user's guide for this. And we are looking at uh, chapter two installation, advanced vice configuration. Now what I'm going to do, because I am going to want to have all a bunch of things on the screen at the same time, I'm going to pull this over here. I'm going to bring this over here to the left right there. And it looks like we have enough where we can read along. So that's good right there. I am going to close Discord. Well, let me, hey, let's just take a look at Discord. By the way, if you are interested, I don't know, we've got some new viewers. So let me just show you this. I do have a Discord. Uh, it is the uh, Retrocombs Discord, and I, I tweet when I'm going, or not tweet, I send a Discord when I'm going live. we got a great community here. You can join that by becoming a, even at the most minimal member at retrocombs.com, or not retrocombs, at buymeacoffee.com slash retrocombs, even at the lowest membership level, which is a buck a month, you get access to the Discord. And we have a we have a lot of fun in there. As a matter of fact, I was sharing some things behind the scenes. You get some behind the scenes information about what I'm working on, what my studio looks like, all those wonderful things. So if you are interested, there's my pitch. I'm done with my pitch. Let's load up C64 Vice. Let's see if we can get this set up. 
Now I did do some reading. Um, evidently the steps that we're going to use are kind of tricky for the Mac and don't necessarily work well. So we're gonna have to play around with that. So let me know, how's that look guys? Give me a give me a heads up, thumbs up in chat. Does that look like something that we can, you know, I can, well, I don't know if I need to make it any bigger because if I do, all I'm doing is stretching out the interface and I may need access to this. So I think, I think that's a pretty good setup. What do you guys think? Go ahead and uh, drop something in chat. Let me see what we're doing here. Uh, we got a couple of you hanging out there. That's good. Or you, or you got two likes. Thank you for those likes. By the way, if you do like this, go ahead and hit the like. That'll help other people find other people find us while we are live streaming. Again, unprepared, just directly from oh, this, the, the live stream studio. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. Now, I have been in Vice on the Mac for quite some time. Uh, and it is going to be interesting to see if we can get this working. There are a lot of settings. The first thing I am going to do though, I'm going to share with uh, you something that is very important if you're new device. There is this option in preferences and uh, I am going to uh, load the settings, but you want to make sure that you do this right here. Save settings on exit because something's going to happen, I'm sure. Something's going to bomb out or we're going to close and have to restart. And if you don't have that, all these things we're doing will be gone. And so what I'm going to do is set up this vice for an instance where the C64 OS is operational and working. After that, what I hope to do is capture an image of that state and we can load that state and not have to go through the load process. It'll just bring it back from a save state. So it's almost like instantaneous to load it. Now, I don't know if we'll get to that today, but that's kind of the goal. Uh, so we're going to do that. Now we also have our settings down here for turbo and some other things. I do, it looks like I have scan lines. Let me, uh, let's, let's see our CRT here. Uh, I think I want to turn off the CRT and let's clean this up right here. So that looks pretty good. Uh, like that and okay the other thing that c64 os requires is a mouse i do have a mouse you can see it right here connected to my windows machine although it probably would work with trackpad but i want to make sure so i am going old school windows and a mouse uh, this is highly unusable or highly unusual for me because i'm a mac guy let's see let me go ahead and check in with chat see how we're doing over here uh, see, let's see, 64 Canadians, about $50 USD for non-Canadians. Not too little, not too much. We will buy it. Uh, Commodore community deserves support. Absolutely. Absolutely, they deserve support. There's some really cool things going on. So I uh, really appreciate that. Thank you for that good chat and the clarification on cost. All right, let's see what we have here. And uh, apologies, but I am going to kind of be reading as we go along. If you're in chat and you see I'm doing something wrong, uh, throw something in and say, hey, don't forget this. Uh, you forgot. Let me see. Do, do I want to make, um, I don't know if making that smaller would, oh, that's a little easier to read. Maybe a little harder for you, but for me, that is perfect. So we've got a great setup here. Uh, all right, let me go ahead. And also, I'm going to close out my bookmarks. You don't need to see those. That'll give us a little more screen real estate there. So I think we are cooking with gas now. Can I auto hide uh, this thing? Uh, this is Windows. Again, I am not familiar with Windows. So Let's see, is there a way to auto hide? How do I auto hide the bar? Um, okay, Windows guys, help me out here. Can I right click on this? Um, did, 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 did. Nope, that's not it. See, on, on a Mac, I would just right click on the bar and get the option to auto hide. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, I guess for now, it's going to stay. Uh, so let me know, Windows, who needs freaking, Vice could be run on Linux too. Unfortunately, it can be on Linux. And again, I'm a Mac guy, which is Linux underpinnings. But unfortunately, C64 OS right now is only uh, working on, on the Windows version. There's evidently some, some GTK stuff on the back end, or I don't know. We'll read it as we go, but it's not working on that. Uh, hey, thanks, Terrapin. I agree. I, I am not a fan. But you know what? If you've not seen my video on why I chose a Windows machine, make sure you do that. And I do, and you can't see it. Oh, did I not turn on my upper camera? I did not. Uh, but I have these wonderful uh, Commodore keycaps on, or key labels on this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad that let, gives me all the Commodore keys, which is nice. But uh, if, you, if you're trying to do some uh, emulating stuff, really Windows, unfortunately, is what we need to be using. So uh, you're talking to the wrong crowd. We don't know how to use Windows. I, I know none of us 
We're just not. But again, this is what we're stuck with. So we will learn together as we go. Okay, let's see. The instructions below assume you have familiarity working in Vice, which I do. Although support for emulated commoners are new, it's quite stable and wonderful platform. That's what we're going to be working on today is this support for CMD devices. I think I have the latest version. Let me make sure. 3.6. Yep, we're good. That You must have, I think, 3.6 or above. I don't think the CMD device will work for anything earlier than that per the instructions. All right, and it says, let's start by configuring the 1351 mouse as control port input device. One. Okay, select preferences, settings. This is the other reason I like this, is this should make this pretty easy. Uh, select control port, uh, uh, let's say preferences, settings, select control port from the control port. Oh my gosh, we're already, is it input devices? There it is, control port, right there. Uh, next to, let's see, control port number one, select 1351. Okay, so we'll come down here and we'll select. Oh, by the way, the mouse uh, scroll is opposite too, which is a just a disaster. Let's see, where, my, mouse 1351, there we go. This is actually good because it, uh, it'll give me some background on how I can get Geos running too, because I've never configured Vice to use my mouse on my machine as a pointing device. So this, that's pretty good. And then uh, let's see, close the window and save your vice settings. Now, see, that's where this is important because I am going to close that. So let's go ahead and close. So now we have configured that. And again, because I had that setting set, even when I reboot or restart vice, that setting will come back. So hopefully that's, that's good. Uh, let me check in on chat here. They uh, should make a version for the Mega 65. Yeah, it would be kind of cool to have, but uh, on the Mega 65, what they're doing is something really cool is they are um, uh, rebranding, re, re not rebranding, but bringing Geos out of retirement. And they've got a really neat high resolution mode. And as that continues to develop and get to more developers on that, that's going to be a better solution. But if we can get this to work in C64 mode, because there are some things that are required, that would be great. But keep those fingers crossed. Okay, we did that. Now, uh, it says when C64 OS is running, you can use the key combination, uh, Alt-M to capture the mouse and vice press Alt-N. Oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna write that down because I am sure we are going to need that later and all be wondering what in the world. So I've got my paper and pencil here and let's write down mouse capture. Mouse capture. And it says that is alt and plus M. Okay, so we got that. We'll leave that over here so we do not forget that. Um, let's see. Configuring of configuration advice for installing. Okay, in order, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking, I've got two views. I'm gonna be looking down here, so I'm not looking at you directly, but I'm not ignoring you. Uh, in order to install Vice on uh, an emulated with Vice, there are a few things you will need before we get set up. There are links at the bottom of the document to help you find the file. So, so I guess we should just jump to the bottom of the document. Let's do that. What do we need? We need important resources for Vice installation. We need to, uh, you need a CMD HD boot ROM to use CMD HD DHD image in Vice. This ROM can be purchased. So we are going to need that. Now, the nice thing is, I think it uses Jiffy DOS. Yeah. Uh, da -da, and you, let's see, to manage the CMD HD and to create new partitions, you also need the CMD HD utilities disk. So we'll grab that here, open that link right there. And uh, here's the utility. So we'll put that on the desktop so we can find it. So we have that. Although Jiffy DOS is not strictly required to use C64 OS, it is highly recommended for its speed and device compatibility. Now I have purchased Jiffy DOS in the past. So uh, I need the Jiffy DOS 64 ROM kernel image. I have, uh, I bought all of them. Let's see if I can find that. Let's go ahead and use my search here. And Jiffy DOS, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna show up. I think I'm gonna have to go right into uh, drive, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's go to drive, drive. Well, if I can type drive, there we go. Drive.google.com. I am going to pop over to the camera for just a minute because I want to make sure uh, I don't reveal anything that you guys shouldn't see. There it is, Jiffy DOS. Uh, where is it? Jiffy DOS 1380. Uh, let's go to. Uh, da, 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 
back. Uh, I want to, it's one thing that drives me nuts about um, that. Let's see, I want to jump to that file. Uh, oh, let me do it, let me do it this way. So go to computers, uh, see my drive, and uh, Ultimate 64 Elite, man, that's nice. I was thinking of buying C64 OS, but it will have to buy an SD to IE. Yes, you do need an SD to IEC, and I'm surprised you don't have one. Uh, if you're already spending uh, money on the Ultimate C64, that's pretty nice. Let's see, C64 computers. Uh, Commodore, where did I put that? Commodore 64, did I put Jiffy DOS in there? Nope, didn't put it in there. Let's see, computers. I should have searched for this earlier. Let's see, ROMs. Um, Let's see, Commodore, Mac, ROMs, software. What did I do with my Jiffy DOS files? Yeah, let's just do a search. Uh, there we go. There's somewhere. Uh, let's go to there. Let's see. We want the C. There's the Vic 20. There we go. Um, 64. Um, oh, there it is. Jiffy DOS C64 Ben. So let me go ahead and uh, download that. And I'm going to put that on the desktop and then I can take it back so that you all can see where we were. There we go. Now we're back. All right. So what I did was I've downloaded, I can show you that here. I have uh, the Jiffy DOS HD utilities here and the Jiffy DOS C64 bin here. And according to this, uh, we should have everything we need because I've already downloaded the utilities. The utilities are, let's see, where was that? Here it is right here. This is the utilities. This is the Jiffy DOS. Now, what we need to do next is I need to purchase for eight big bucks the CMD HDD boot ROM 2.8 binary image. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, so I am going to give that a shot now. So here we go, we're gonna add to cart. Again, supporting our developers out there. I am gonna go back to the main screen here so that you don't see how I pay just in case there's any uh, confidential information. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's see, let's go ahead and proceed to checkout. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to put in my information, retrocombs at iCloud.com. All right, uh, do I want to subscribe to the newsletter? I don't think so. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. All right, and billing information, let's go ahead and let my Last pass, fill in all that. Company name is Retrocombs. Got everything in there we need. We're going to continue. I now have account. Uh, let's see, update address. Uh, no thanks. Don't want to do that. And let's see, I have a couple of different ways I can pay. I think I'll just go ahead and use my points here. So I get a little something back on my purchase. Uh, no, I don't. Not now. No, I don't want to do that. Place our order. Okay, I'm placing, I know you can't see it uh, because I don't want to see you. I don't want you all seeing me place my order. Okay, Retro Innovations. There we go. Now I can come back over here. Now you can see it. Thank you. Your order number is this. Uh, let's see. Uh, I need to create a password. So here we go. I'm back here. Let me go ahead and do that. So you guys can't see that. All right, and I'll create an account. Uh, your account has been created. Uh, item, show details. Uh, now go to downloads. I think I can show you that now. I think we can go back there. There we go. We'll go to downloads. Uh, let's see. And here it is. Here's our bin file. So we will download that. We'll throw that on the desktop. That's good right there. We'll save that. Now what I probably will do is uh, we'll move all these to a folder here in just a minute that I will show you. How's it going so far in chat? Are you guys hanging out there with me? How many people of you are actually, the accountant is going to show up and I know, I know the lovely accountant will see these charges and I am busted. So <laughs> Matthew, thanks for being one of my, my regular followers who understands my life. There you go. Uh, yeah, I don't think I told her I was gonna be, uh, eh, that's all right, we're, we're good, it's eight bucks. It's it's a cup of coffee uh, at Starbucks with everything in it, which is not me, but I'm sure other people spend that much on coffee, but I am not going to. Uh, but I love that, Matthew, that is so funny. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna close this out. 
close my order confirmation so we have that so now we can go back up here to the top oh and the scrolls backwards on a windows machine too it's that old school i got to figure out how to change the scroll so i'm not confused all right let me go back up here and uh see we we've only touched on a little bit of this so let's see okay requirements we have everything we need now what i am going to do is uh, I want to put everything in a single folder. So I'm going to come up here and see 64 OS. Um, oh, that's right. I'm, I'm, this is my launcher. I don't want to do that. I want to search here. There we go. C64 OS. There's the folder right there. All right. And what I'm going to do is uh, feel really limited in this small, tiny window, but this is what we have right now. I'm going to minimize. Wait, that's not minimize. Huh. All right. Here we go. So uh, I'm going to create another folder. So these are all the files. What you're seeing now, these are all the files from the SD card that were in here. I've already just moved them to a Google Drive, so it's all backed up. And I've got versioning with Google Drive, which I like. I'm going to say in here, I'm going to do a, um, let's do a new folder and let's call these support all right and we got to remember that because we're going to come back to that let's go in here to support and let's make a backup of everything we needed so we needed this right here uh, we need this right here and then we need this right here so that should give us everything we need in a single location and you can see it's already synced those to google drive so those are backed up so good to go there um, let's see, let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and open this. And isn't this exciting live streaming? It's really not, I know. But so thank you guys for hanging out though. It is, it's fun having you guys chatting in uh, over here while I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, Matthew, thank you so much. That was so nice of you. Uh, tell, Matt, Matthew has helped soften the blow with a lovely accountant by providing a, a $5 super chat. So thank you so much for that, Matthew. You rock today. You are my favorite uh, person in chat today. Sorry to the rest of you, but you know, if you, you're going to do that, you're going to get some special recognition. So thank you, Matthew. That does help. I will uh, make sure I mention that. It only cost me $3 today. So how about that? Just for you guys, right? Uh, and I'm sure we'll get a lot of use out of that because I'm sure I will use that at some other point. So thanks again, Matthew. That is so kind of you to do that. You are, uh, you, are, you are the man today. Okay, let me go ahead and clear that. Man, I really appreciate that. Uh, it's so nice to have you guys out there. It's so nice to have Matthew who understands my plight. <laughs> so thanks. Uh, let's see. Um, Terrapin says, it's definitely fun watching you. Well, okay. Yeah. There's other things. You know, there's football, there's movies, there's Netflix, but you chose to be here with me. You all are special, special group. So thanks for being there. All right, let's go back and see where we are. Uh, so we, we're, we, okay, so we have everything. Uh, we've already downloaded Vice. Obviously, we're running that. Um, to see, uh, Colonel. Okay, here we go. Uh, what, this seems weird. Where, where do we go? Okay, here we go. Mouse, there we go. Uh, configuration of Vice. Okay, now here's what we want to do. This is the tricky stuff right here. Let's see if we can get this going. So Vice equals 3.5. This is the first version. So we're at 3.6, so we're okay. Uh, we have this now. Uh, this really helps now. Okay, we, yeah, this will help speed things up. We have that. We have the utilities, which I, I know that we're going to need that. I think to format the CMD hard drive is where that comes from. Uh, and then we need familiarity with setting up a virtual file system on Vice. I have no idea how to do that. So we're going to gain our familiarity today. So uh, we're going to do that. Hey, Terrapin says anything C64 I love. I'm, I'm with you, man. Um, which is why I have the channel, right? Uh, because I just love all things Commodore. By the way, have you guys seen my Commodore pet? I'm sure you have. I don't have it on today, but you know, uh, if you if if you're new to the, if you're new to the live stream or the channel, uh, make sure you check out some of my stuff about the pet. Having a blast with that. All right, kernel and drive ROMs. All right, here we go. To get started, let's first configure Vice to use the CMD HD boot ROMs and Jiffy DOS. Okay, we have everything. So let's go to preferences. Let's go to settings from the menu. Let me move that over. I wonder, can I get that out? Of here? Nope, that's a fixed size. So let's move that over here. There we go. We can see everything. Let me pull that up a little bit more for you so you can see everything. Good. Uh, from the menu, next, select ROM from the machine option. Let's go ahead and close this one. Let's go to machine. Let's go to ROM. Okay, from the section. Now, I'm really bad at following instructions. I tend to get ahead. I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to try and hit every one of these so that we get this right. Uh, from the next ROM, from the machines. Okay, uh, if you want to have Jiffy DOS under machine ROMs, change the kernel ROM uh, to use the binary located on your computer. So let's go ahead and browse. 
we'll go here and then I have this on and I don't have my uh, I don't know why that's the case let's just go home here let's go to Google Drive let's go to C64 OS you remember we put that under support and we want the Jiffy DOS ROM here. Now I've got a problem because this window is too big. So let me pull this down here so we can get this in here and open. Okay, now that is in there. Let's, let's hope it's gonna work. That's the other big thing. Uh, and then let's see, so we've done that. Select, then modify the drive ROMs to use CMD. Okay, the drive ROMs. Modify the drive ROMs to use CMD HD boot ROM and also the 1541 ROM to use the appropriate Jiffy DOS. Hmm. Okay, so so is that is that a oh it looks like I needed a Jiffy DOS 1541 bin. So I'm going to have to go back over into here and go to drive dot because I did not grab that one. And let's type 1541. I think it'll pop up. Um, 1541 Jiffy DOS. There we go. Uh, that one right there. It doesn't say to use the two, does it? It just says to use the one. Uh, let me check that, make sure. Looks like they're using, yes, just the regular Jiffy DOS. So we're going to get this one right here and we are going to download that. And let's go ahead and download that directly to our support this time. Uh, so let's go to Google Drive, C64 OS. Let's pop that in support. Let's save that. They could have told us that in advance. I think that's a, something they should put in the instructions in advance because I don't think that's an option for me to choose within here. So, all right, so now we need to go over here. Uh, where, where is it? Drive, there we go. Give us a little more directions here too would be nice. Let's see, we want to go to... Oh wait, that's, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I do need to be here. Sorry, I messed up. There we go, drive ROMs. Okay, so 1541, let's browse that one. And we want that to be Jiffy DOS. So let's go back over to our home. Let's go to Google Drive. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this over here in my bookmarks. There we go, there we go. Now we have quick access to it. And we will support. And is that the right one, 1541? Yep, that's it right there. Okay, so, oh, did, did it go? Didn't look like it took it. You seeing this, guys? Didn't take the 1541. Let's try that again. Oh, wait, that's, that's the wrong one. Let's go here. Support, or I thought I chose the right one. Okay, Jiffy DOS, open. Huh, not taking the Jiffy DOS ROM. What is going on there? What did I do? Uh, 1541, 1541. I wonder if there's something wrong with my ROM. Uh, I may have to do this without Jiffy DOS to get us started. May have to come back and figure that out. Let me try it again. Support. Because that's the 1541. It says Ben. Everything looks good. Uh, da, 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 da. And open. It is just not taking it. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's very disappointing. Let's see if we can get our, at least this one in here. So let's do this. Let's do this. Try the, I, I, I think I might do that Terrapin. I think I might go ahead and grab that here in just a second and see if that works. Uh, very good point. So let's go back in here to support. Let's see if this is even installing my, okay. So I, this is the one I purchased. This better work. Okay. So it took that. So that's interesting. So I think you might be right. Let's see if we can grab the two and see what if that works here. So drive.google.com. Uh, we'll type in Jiffy 1541 over here. And here's that one, right? Oh, here's another one. Uh, this one says C, Jiffy DOS C 1541. Let me try that one. Uh, let's uh, download that. And I want to get rid of this one right here. So let me delete that one. And Oh, it can't. Oh, oh, it's open. It says it's open. I, I didn't open that. Uh, that's all right. Let's go ahead and save this one. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Do you want to replace? Did I get the wrong one? Let's see. No, I know what I did. No. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to do that. Cancel that. Let's try this again. I accidentally clicked it and it changed the name. So let me go ahead and save download. There we go. And let's go ahead and put that in there. 
There we go. And let's back over here. Let's go back over here. Let's try that here again. And we want here, we want support. This is tricky. Whew, this is a lot of work. Uh, Jiffy.c64 open. Oh, see, it didn't take that either. I'm going to try something. I want to close this and I want to come back to my preference. I'm just wondering if it's not refreshing and it's actually in there. Oh, it is not. Interesting. I think uh, we may have to try the other one too, just to make sure. Let me go ahead. Support. This is the other one we tried. Let's go ahead and open that one. Oh, took it that time. Thumbs up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stick with that one. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna save that and close. All right, we're making progress. We are cooking with gas. Uh, so Terrapin, we did not need to use number two. Well, we hope we'll see if this one works. So, oh, you know what? Look at that. That actually does show the C1541 instead of just the 1541. So I, yeah, had selected the wrong one. I do want to, while I'm thinking about it, uh, I think I want to clean that up. So let me grab this real quick and uh, let's go back to, oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to put a shortcut on my drive so we can get to it faster. So let me go ahead and create shortcut. Uh, man, my old Windows days. Uh, can't wait to create a copy as path. How do we do that? Uh, is this copy, rename? Oh, wow. How do you, I can pin to quick access. Which, or what's, oh, there we go. It put it somewhere. Where did it put it? Uh, 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 where'd it go? Can I just drag that somewhere? Let's see if I can just drag it. Can I put that right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we can get there quicker. All right. We are good to go now. All right. So let me pull that back up. All right. So we have done that now. Uh, alternative floppy. If you want to use a different, no, we don't want to do that. At this point, save your configuration by select. Okay. We've done that. Okay. We are to here. Next, we're going to configure the drives that you will need for installing C64 OS. For our configuration, we're going to have drive eight loaded with the CMD HD. Drive 9 will host our CMD HD. Oh, with the utilities. And then, okay, gotcha. Uh, drive 10, wow, we're going to three drive here. Drive 10 will point to the location in the Windows file system of our C64 OS file installation. Let's get started. Let, yeah, shall we? Uh, send to. Thank you, Terrapin. I, I just saw that. Okay, drive 8. First, configure your drive 8 to use a compatible floppy drive. Uh, and one that you installed the Jiffy Dot in the image below. I'm selecting, okay, make sure to save your vice settings. So we need to go here, go back to our settings, and then we are under, close this, uh, peripherals, is that where we are? Yep, peripheral devices, kind of small. I may have to blow this up at some point, so my old eyes can't do this. Uh, host, let's see, drive, what, drive? So it says disks over here. Are you guys seeing this? It says drive. Here's drive, okay, right here. Oh, there we go. Uh, and we want this, okay, so that's right. Uh, and it says for this one, we want enable true drive emulation. It's down here for this version of Vice. So looks like we're okay there. Let's go ahead and close. So 15.8, okay, so that's good. We've done that. Uh, hey, we want, you know what the other thing we want, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just because I think uh, we want to do this. We want drive sound emulation. I just love drive sound emul emulation. That's really cool. You know what's interesting is I, this window is so big, I can't even get to the OK. Uh, so hopefully it saves everything just when I click on it. All right, so let's go back over here, see what we have. Let's close that. Good to know we can click on those and blow those up. After the drive has been configured, attach the CMD HD utility, utilities disk drive to your drive. Okay, so we are going to come over here. We're going to close this. We're going to go to File, Attach Disk Image to Drive 8. Uh, and we are looking for, and I thought I put it in here. There we go. And Support. And we want, there it is, right there. We want that one right there. And we want to, do we want to attach or open? It says select attach disk image uh, and select drive eight. Um, drive eight is here, attach, there we go. All right, we have that, okay. Then attach the image containing the, 
and then attach the image containing the image. Make sure you do not select. Okay, we just did that. Okay, now that you have the disk image, let's verify. Hey, look, we have. I did. I didn't notice that. Look at this. We have Jiffy DOS. So it is running in the background. We have exactly what we're supposed to have here. Check us out. Uh, everything is going smoothly. Hey, a war hey, Heinz, good to have you from Switzerland. Thanks for joining. We are installing C64 OS in Vice. So, so far, it's gone fairly well. We've had to make a purchase. Uh, Matthew was kind enough to help me offset that purchase with a super chat. We've been plugging along. We got Jiffy DOS up and going in Vice. So far, so good. Maybe by the end of this live stream, we will have uh, C64 OS. Uh, hi, I missed the first 30 minutes. Well, it's been exciting 30 minutes, let me tell you. You can, uh, 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 aside, uh, aside, aside. Well, huh. uh, you can come back and get caught up later, but you can see some interesting things. We've learned a lot, actually, uh, through this process. And uh, we're, I've, I've learned more about Vice probably in the last 30 minutes than I have throughout everything. There's a lot of really cool stuff here as we're digging in. So glad you, you could join us. Thanks. Let's see. Well, what do we have? We have, uh, uh, wow, there's 11 of you hanging in there. Thanks for, thanks for all 11 of you. If you are watching and you've not dropped in the chat, you're really missing the fun. That's where it is. I do have, I will say this, you do have to subscribe to get into chat because that gets rid of all the, the bots and the the ads and things. However, I don't, you know, you can unsubscribe afterwards if you find this is not your cup of tea, but we'd love to have you join us in chat. So pop in and, and join us in chat. It is the most welcoming chat on YouTube at this particular time, guaranteed. Got some great guys in chat today. So thanks for joining. All right, let's go back here and see. Now it says, now that the uh, disk image, let's verify the disk has what we need by using, oh my gosh, here we go. Uh, at, oh, I got to plug it over here. Here we go at oops so oh it's not in positional so well that would be kind of awkward so i'll have to do it uh, at uh dollar sign uh is that is that all we do oh there it is check it out now we've got a lot more on here than what they have on their screen maybe they broke oh it looks like they you see that it looks like they broke their listing here so that's why that is so we're 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 on a roll all right so far so good all right, if you see the correct files and we can move on to the next step, we are moving on to the next step, guys. We are, we are rocking and rolling. Next, we are going to set up drive nine to use a new CMD HD image from our computer. Before we attach the image, we need to create it. And thankfully, the Vice team has made that easy. All we need to do is create a new file. Okay, the simplest method I have found is to create a new text document on your computer. Really? and then name that file to anything you want with a DHD extension. To make things simpler for us right now, rename, okay, all right, well, so we're gonna right click here and we're going to do new and we're going to do text document. Uh, and I'm gonna have to minimize some things because we are not gonna find it here. So let me, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this because I wanna make sure I get everything exactly the way we get it. So let me go ahead and do this. Here's that new text document right here, and we'll just uh, go ahead and boom, do that. Uh, now, I'm going to put that in my, I wish it would not start way down there. What is that about? Windows, I cannot stand you, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I gave you up years ago, and this is why. I'm gonna put this over here in our support file now. So now we have access to that. So building a great directory of support files is gonna make this a lot easier the next time or if I ever have to do this again. So let me go ahead and close that. Let's bring this back up. Okay, now that the image is created, we can attach it to our emulator. Interesting that we just create a text document with a name and it creates an image. Uh, first, we need to con configure drive nine to emulate a, a CMD HD and you know, I never had a hard drive with a Commodore 64 or my 128. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, and optionally specify the size of the image. Okay, so we need to go to back to our settings. So let's go back to preferences, settings. Now remember, uh, we do have this automatically saving everything with this setting down here, very important. We did never want to have to do all of this again. Uh, and we are going to go to drive, I'm gonna blow this up, drive nine, so that's here. And we want that to be CMD here. Uh, whoa, fixed size, is that really, that 8G, surely that's not eight gigabytes, right guys? That surely cannot be eight gigabytes. Uh, anything else, looks like that's it. Make sure your vice settings, drive, now let's attach 
the image we just created. Okay, so then I need to go back here. I need to close this and then we go file, attach image to nine. And we go back to, huh, let's see if we go back here, support. Interesting, it did not find it that time. Now let's attach what we just created. Select attach, select attach from the file menu. I did that. Uh, pick drive nine. Okay, let me let me close this. So file, attach disk image, drive nine. And it is attach a disk image to drive nine. So next find the image you just created and attach it. So it's not seeing it here. What's going on? Let's see. Let's see if we can figure out why that is. Did I misname it, guys? Maybe I did. So here it is right here, uh, C64 OS dot DHD is right there. Let's let me scroll back up. Here's our first our first hiccup. Let me check in chat. Uh, is that DHD secretly a oh, I see math. Yeah, sometimes it does that, right? See it, it. Oh, that's interesting because it is showing it's a text document. So how do I change that? Is that properties? Um, it's showing it's a text document. Yeah, you're right. So how do I fix that uh, and make it a DHD? Because I bet you're, let's see, is it advanced? Da, 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 compress, choose, uh, cancel. Let's see if he has any, let's see if he has any uh, information. Maybe we missed something. Um, it might be, he might have to do it as save as they could have. Yeah, they could be a lot more user friendly, Xander, but we're working on it. Uh, do a save, do a save as from Notepad. Uh, hiding, ex uh, is that when 11 default and hiding, ex probably Jamie, probably. Hey, welcome, by the way. Uh, Matthew, just open it in Notepad and resave it manually. Okay, this is why, see, this is why I have the chat. All right, all right so let's go in here. Let's uh, open this in Notepad, you said? Open with Notepad, okay and then do uh, file, save as, and let's go back to, I'm gonna put it back on the desktop, and oh yeah, here we go. But see, it's got this, how do I get rid of that? What if I just do that? You think it'll, you think it'll get rid of that? And I, I don't think I wanna do anything with this. Let's try this, save as. Uh, and then let's go ahead and, didn't I just save that to my desktop? Save as. Oh, I had it downloads. So let me put it on desktop. I'll come back and clean that up later. And all documents and save. Uh, would you like to replace it? Yes. And re replace what? Did it go back to downloads again? I guess I can close it. Okay. Let's go ahead and see downloads. Uh, whoa, that's not right. Uh, what in the world is that? Da -da -da -da, trash. Okay, let's try this one more time. Let me go back, let me cancel, let me close, let me go back here, let's see what he says. Maybe we missed a step, guys. Uh, let's see, okay, here we go. Uh, the simplest method I found is to create a new text document on your computer, and then rename the file to anything you want with DHD. This makes it easier, this makes things simpler for us right now, rename the file. So, okay, so we'll do this again. New text document. We're gonna copy this, rename the file. This is what we did. So we're gonna get, the, you know, this is this is doing the same thing over and over, right? So uh, I think a few of you said do this first, file, save as, and let's go back to our desktop. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. I don't want that, right? Uh, let's escape that. Let's do this, and let's do save. Okay, there we go. Uh, there we see that we even got a little little different icon that time. So that's what you have to do. So great tip, guys. Thank you so much for that. We had to get it out of that that hidden text file, whatever. Now, uh, here's that bad one right here. So let's go ahead and delete that one. Let's go ahead and get that in our. Uh, hey, good to see you, Ross. Uh, Ross Voha, uh, Rasta Retro and Resistance to Babylon. Thanks again. 
great to have you here uh, joining us. And uh, feel free to come back, you know, come back later and see if we succeeded. You can come back to live stream. It'll be up at least for 24 hours or so, so you can check it out. I don't know the way this is going. I may just leave it because there's some good stuff here that might be helpful for others. This may just be it if we get it working at the end of the day. Uh, let's go to my support here. Because I think, I think along the way, I am sharing some good tips. People just have to kind of mow through. But uh, I think there's some good stuff here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, let's get rid of this one right here because uh, that is not the good one. All right, now let's see if we can load it. So let's go back to our instructions. And this one we were going to load at on 9. So file, attach image number 9. And look, there it is, guys. Check it out right there. Perfect. And we're going to attach. Got it. So that is attached. So make sure you save your vice settings. We've done that because we have auto save. Now let's attach it. We did that. Um, looks good. Yep, got the got that same error too. So we're we're doing perfectly there. Uh, uh, let's see. Change the default view later in Windows. It'll drive you bad. Hey, you're my Windows guy, Jamie. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about by default view? But man, I could I could use some help on Windows. And my mouse is off, everything. How do you even do this on a daily basis? This is, okay, enough Windows bashing, I know. If it's not Linux or Mac, man, I'm just, but I, I have to say this is the only way we're getting this to work is because we have a Windows machine because this is all that's supported. Hey, we're, we're getting there, look, we're almost halfway down. Uh, also note that when you select the disk image device, will not recognize the contents. Okay, good. Now what we have to do is we have to create a system. The next step is very important. Okay, let me focus here. We need to create a new system area on our new image. This needs to be done first before you can add new partitions. That makes sense. To start with, load and run the create sys program that is on your uh, command hard drive. Okay, well, we can do that. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, here it is right here. Oh, <laughs> I got to be in the right, right one right here. Yeah, let's go up here. And that is right here. Uh, what is the Jiffy DOS command? Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, just slash. That's it. Hey, that's just like on the uh, Mega 65, folks. Now, can I just do that or do I have to clean it up? Uh, it looks like you have to do that. Okay, so let me go ahead and do one of these businesses here. And it looks like it's... So what I'm doing is I'm recreating this line right here, you guys. Because I do have Jiffy DOS going right here. So, uh, and then I'm going to go over here. Oh, got to be back over here. And let's get rid of all that, and let's hit enter. Let's see if it works. Searching. Oh, file not found error. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Uh, does it have to be right next to it, maybe? Loading, there we go. All right. Now, I guess I could turn on warp. Uh, oh, there, it, hey, that was pretty fast. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, let's go ahead and run. Oh, there we go. Check us out. We are only use it when I have to. I understand. He's talking about Windows. Jamie is. Hey, check it out. We are running uh, our, our utilities. I'm pretty excited. I don't know about the rest of you. I don't know why this excites me, but it's exciting me so far. Uh, what a great way to uh, spend with all of you in chat getting... C64 OS, and that's just for people who are coming in late, right? Okay, let me just see um, while we're at a good pause point here. My goodness, we still got quite a few of you hanging out in there with us. Great. Again, if you are not in chat, please pop, pop in and chat. Let me know you're here. Uh, and let me see what we have next. Okay, here we go. It says, and he's highlighted this right here, to begin, hold down swap 8 and swap 9 while you press and release reset. What in the world is that? Let's see what he says. Okay. You will notice near the bottom that the program is asking you to switch the drive into installation mode by holding the swap button down. Are you reading this? This while pressing the reset button. You can ignore this because the great vice developers automatically put the drive in this mode when a new zero byte image is attached, which is what we did with the text file. We created a zero byte image. That's pretty cool. Now says, uh, after you press enter, you'll be graded by another screen. Okay, we're going to come over here. We're going to press enter. Okay, there's our screen. Um, it looks a little bit different than they have. Uh, there is no reason to change this, so you can just press enter to continue. Okay, just press enter to continue. Oh, there we go. Now we're caught back up. They just He just didn't put that screen in there. Uh, okay, so we're in good shape so far. Now, 
Next, you will be asked if you want to clear the area below the system. You should select Y here because we are not going to share the disk image with any other systems. Next, you'll be asked, okay, well, I get that. Uh, at this point, the computer will start building the system image on your disk. This is a good time to use the warp mode. Okay, that's what I was concerned about. Could we use warp mode? I worried that um, warp mode may mess up some time and break some things, but it's good to know that we can do that. All right, so so what do I do? I just hit Y. Is that the, uh, let's see, did it do a D4, did it clear area, clear area system below. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Let me click in here. All right, we're going to format a hard drive in Commodore 64 mode. This is exciting. Clearing area, and let's go to warp mode. Now, if you're not familiar how to do that, you come down here and you click this little warp button, and there we go. So now we are in warp mode. We'll see how this goes. And while it's doing that, let me go ahead and queue up my next section here after it is complete. There we go. Let's check on uh, chat. Let's see what's going on in chat over here. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in chat. Uh, I think change that. Yeah, so you're going to have to let me know what we're talking about there. Um, looks like uh, people are saying goodbye to Roz. Uh, only use it, and this is what we were talking about with uh, Windows. Uh, only use it when we have to. <laughs> and that's exactly right for me. Let me go ahead and scroll up here, see if I missed anything fun. Uh, let's see, how are we doing? Oh, look, it's writing our main tape. Can you imagine how long this would take? If we weren't using warp mode and this was on a real CMD H drive, this would take forever. Oh, it's ready. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to uh, check in chat. Okay, we're just going to assume everything's great in chat. So, good deal. Uh, it's exciting to watch this stuff. <laughs> I, we are geeks, aren't we? If we find this exciting, we are definitely geeks. Okay, so let me go ahead and see where we are here. So, it looks like press reset. I'm going to take us out of warp mode because it gets really difficult to type out of warp mode sometimes you'll get double keys and I, it, I just to be safe we're going to be out all right so it says after it is completed you're asked to reset the drive this is easily accomplished by using the drive menu uh drive menu that's down here if i'm not mistaken yeah right here uh and oh look at that and uh we want to reset drive number nine okay reset drive let's see make sure we got everything exactly the way oh wait no wait stop he says, however, in my experience, this does not work very well. Couldn't you put that up here? Uh, I, I was ready to click. Instead, the best course of action is to close and reopen Vice and then reattach the disk images. Oh, man, this will ensure the space has been allocated for your image and you won't have to start over again if Vice crashes. Oh, that sounds harder. Um, before continuing, make a copy of your image file so that you do not need to do the setup again. I have blank.dhd. Okay, so uh, I think, is that here? Uh, save snapshot image. Let's go ahead and save where we are. And uh, I am going to put this in here and I'm going to put this under support. So we can save this image and it'll save exactly where we are right here uh, so that we can come back to it if we need to. And I'm going to say C64. Uh, is it not going to let me change? Oh, man. Here, let's try that again. C64 CMD HDD setup. We're going to call that right there. So I'm going to save that snapshot. So now, if everything else just botched right now, we could load that up and it would load just like that, which is really a nice feature of, bat, of um, Vice. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I could, he says, however, in my experience, this does not work very well. Instead, the best course of action, you know what? He's working on 3.5. I'm going to try something. We're going to see if we can reset because I can come back, right? Let's do this right here. Okay, I reset it. I don't know what that means, but I reset it. So finally, we are ready to create a partition for installing C64 OS. Sometimes a reset does not work here and you will be forced to restart Vice and reattach the disk images. Hey, it looks like something happened. Uh, I am not sure if this is a bug in Vice or in any way I'm doing this process. All right, so now we want to load and run the HD tool. So let's do this and it looks like it's HD tools. Uh, do I put dot 64? looks like I do. Dot 64. All right, let's see if that works. Searching. This is pretty cool having a hard drive on your Commodore 64. This makes me want something uh, like that in hardware for my 128. All right, we're loading. 
We're going to find out if my reset work. If it didn't, what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll do what he said and reattach everything. I really don't want to do that. I guess I could go to warp mode here and speed this up. Of course, this may be the point where we have some issues. Oh, there, there it goes. Okay, let's turn that off and let's run. All right, so that's working. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, so now before you continue, you should place your HD in configuration mode. Oh my, this, this is what working with hard drives was like back in the day. This is painful. Uh, okay, the, uh, must be put uh, this time, you will need to do this again. Uh, you'll need this again. Again, Vice team has made this easy by putting it in the drive. So reset drive to configuration mode. Okay, boy, those Vice folks are good, aren't they? Reset drive nine to configure. Hey, look at that. All right. Okay, we just did it. All right, after you've selected go into configuration mode, you can press enter and you should now see this menu. All right, well, we'll find out. And, oh, I've got, this isn't good. I've got, I've got the, uh, oh, see that, that, oh, that, okay, it stopped. All right, let's hit return. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then we want to create a new partition. It's reading a partition table. Exciting stuff, guys. Let me see, what are you guys talking about in there? It's exciting to watch this stuff. Yeah, we talked about me, uh, never seen this hard drive. I haven't either. And I think this is a learning experience for all of us. Uh, you still, uh, you're still excited to have, <laughs> freaking out, yeah, back in the day for sure. I don't think anybody could afford one. Uh, this should have been put first. Yes, it should have been put first. Okay, so then what do we do now? We, uh, Da, da, da. Okay, come over here. Okay, so we have that. Make sure you have selected native. What, what does that mean? Wait, make sure that you have selected native or or NTV type for the partition. Okay, it is. Okay, I see. They're just wanting me to verify, and it is. Okay. Um, and you can cycle through that with the minus keys, which will give you... Uh, oh, so now you also want to make sure you have allocated the maximum number of blocks by pressing the minus key. Okay, let me go over here. And, oh. So, the minus key. Uh-oh, I've got an issue here. Hold on a second. Because, uh, let's see, make sure that you have, oh, goodness. Make sure you have selected NATV or native type for the partition and also make sure you have allocated the maximum number of blocks by pressing the nine, minus key, which will get you, see it's not, it's doing this thing with numbers. Um, huh, all right, I've got something. Uh, da, 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 da. I have an issue, guys. My minus key isn't working for some reason. Um, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can figure, let me go back up here and see what's going on, okay. Uh, from the menu, press option four, it'll load the partition editor. By default, you will be dropping into creating a new partition. Uh, press plus or minus to adjust. Uh, plus or minus. It's just doing this, guys. It's not giving me the blocks thing. Um, do I need to take that all the way? Oh, wait, maybe I need to go. Maybe it cycles through. There we go. Okay, so there's, oh, I had it. Oh, no, get, go away. Don't do that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there's one. Okay, so then I have that. Let's press. I'm afraid if I press enter, it's going to accept. Um, I need it to go to blocks. See, select option four, create a new partition, create new block. Anybody got any help? Uh, could it be that you need to press return? I, I'm hoping, but I'm a little concerned. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Return it was. And then blocks. Oh, good call. See, we're learning. All right. So then I take this. Oh, there we go. Uh, 65, 280. Got it. Okay. And then press, uh, let's see. Boy, that's not well documented. I would think that that, I'm glad I'm doing this in video because this is gonna help somebody. And then let's press return. Okay, then we put, oh, uh, C, 64, OS. Okay, good call, side, thank you. 
Uh, try typing it. Uh, so Xander, we got it, so we're good. Uh, make sure you've selected, okay, enter, da da. The table, you'll be asked to write a new table. Okay, we did that. After you press enter on the new field, you'll be asked if you want. Okay, here we go. Let's press return. Write a new table. Uh, I think this is a yes. Here we go. You may reformat this partition after creating it by using the new command. Oh my gosh, we have more to do. Do you see this? Uh, you should be taken back to the main. Okay, so let's go ahead and press any key to continue. Okay. Uh, and then we're back to here. So then from here, I'd like to validate that partition was created by doing a couple. First, I use the menu option three. I wish you, uh, okay, to view. Let's check it out. Okay, reading the partition table. Hey, there it is. We got it. Uh, it should look similar to the image below with the new partition we just created. Cool. Uh, the other method is to drop back into base. We don't want, need to do that because everything seems to be working. Okay. Uh, let's see. Like before, you can try to use the reset drive nine option, but I found this does not work. Instead, simply close and reopen vice and then reattach the disk images again. Uh, I'm going to try because everything's been working. Uh, let's try and reset drive nine. Um, reset drive nine. Okay. Uh, you can even verify this more by changing the de default device using Jiffy DOS. And I don't need to do all of this. This seems complicated. What are we doing? Um, I think, let's see, press return to exit. Let's go back over here. Let's exit. And let's return to basic and press any key. Uh, please press the reset button. Let's just make sure we've done that. Uh, I did that earlier, but let's follow it here. Reset drive nine. There we go. And press any key. Okay, so now we're back. So let's do, what is it? Uh, and, and, and. Fingers crossed, folks. We are at a pause, everybody. Something uh, may or we may have to do that thing where we go back and we just reattach everything. Let me go ahead and warp this. We're so close. Let's hope this worked. Okay, I don't see anything happening. It should be back up. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to reattach the drives. Um, again so let's go ahead and stop this let's go ahead and file uh, reset hard reset actually he said close it so let's just go ahead and close it just to make sure and then let's load it back up there we go everything oh good it kept our jiffy dos let's reattach a task attach disk image to nine that was this one right here oh there it is see that that's good so let's attach and load uh, and then, um, let's see, the other option. Okay, so then we should be able to do this now. Didn't, didn't load it. Um, oh, you got to do, I see, C. What's that little thing? Oh, at number nine. I got you. At number nine. Well, rats, number, number nine, there we go. And then at dollar. There we go. We're cooking, uh, attaching, yeah, exactly. So I think we're good, I think we have it. Uh, we have exactly what we're supposed to see here. So, so far, so good. Uh, and then congratulations, it is now ready to install C64S, but we have one more, of course, we have one more setup step to complete before we can begin. Oh my goodness, here we go. Drive 10, in this step you're going to configure drive 10 to use our computer's file system as a disk. That's interesting. And point it to the location where we have the installation files for C64 OS. Okay, so let's go into vice settings. So preferences, uh, we'll go into settings. And then it looks like we're going into peripheral devices, drive right here. 
All right, let's see. Uh, we want to, says enable virtual drive. Where is that? Um, host, let's see what this says. This is, it says generic. We need the generic option. Now it looks like they've done something different in 6.1, which is right here. Um, or maybe not, because I don't see a generic. So here we're going to have to make some changes. Let's see. Enable virtual device, peripheral devices, generic. So over here, uh, phew, peripheral devices, drive. Let's see if we have something here. Uh, enable here. Uh, well, wait. Enable virtual devices. Is that, is that what we wanted? Yeah. Enable virtual devices is here. Okay. And then host file system. There it is. Uh, is right here. Okay. Wow. This is tricky, isn't it? Um, bottom of the drive. Yeah. Thank you, Matthew. I just saw it. Um, I love that you guys have my back. That is so good. Host file system right here. Then set the location of the C64 OS installation file by specifying the file system directory for drive 10. And looks like we want version C64 OS media. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Um, how do we get, oh, drive 10, oh shoot, we want drive 10, don't we? Oh man, uh, let's turn this off. There we go, drive 10, we want this. And um, we want how to host file system device drive 10 is this access okay here and then we go over here and it's under let's see now this is where it gets tricky because these are all the things that came with it is it under OS maybe C64 OS not there. Uh, let's see if we have any information here. We want, then set the location of installation by specifying the directory in the file system for drive 10. Make sure to allow file names larger than 16 characters. Did I do that? Let me, let me cancel this. Um, there we go. Okay, got that. We almost missed that. Uh, 16, it should look similar to below. Yeah. Lastly, okay, let me, let, what, where is that? What are we looking for? Uh, maybe we didn't see that because we didn't have this selected right here. So let's go here. Um, support. Yeah, it's not there. Maybe vice. No, that's not it. OS. Uh, C64 OS. I'm looking for something that looks like this right here, and I'm not seeing it. Uh, drivers, icons, kernel. I'm sure that's not it. That's this. This is all. Let's see. Games, documents. I'm going to check something here. Let's see if we're not seeing something uh, that I should be seeing. Yeah. See, here it is. Here, uh, it's not showing up. So what am I doing? How do I? How do I limit? this so that I'm seeing everything. Is there a way to do that? Because I am not getting everything. Um, well, maybe I just do this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is. Is that right? I guess that's right, right there, right? So it just wants that directory. I think that's, yeah, bottom of the drive window, enable virtual device. Uh, let's see. So I, I think, I think, I think we got it. Let's go ahead and I hate that I can't see my bottom because I don't know how to get rid of this stupid thing. Stupid taskbar. Oh, that's show desktop. I don't want that. How do I get rid of my desk taskbar, Jamie, if you're still there? Uh, yeah, you're just selecting the directory. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, so I guess I'll just close this. I don't know. Uh, and we'll close this. Then set the, uh, oh yeah, it does. You're right. Gosh, I should have read it. There you go. Set the location of the installation files is all we were doing. Apologies, everybody. Again, not reading word for word. Okay, lastly, we verify that we can see the files on drive 10 showing with Jiffy DOS. Okay, so we want to do a uh, at, I'll click over here, at number 10. Oh, device not present. 
It is not seeing it. We did something wrong. Okay, let's try this again. Um, settings, gosh, we were so close. Here, uh, gosh, that looks right. Did I do something wrong? Let's see. Drive, let's make sure drive 10 is enabled. Yep, we have that, we have that. Um, drive 9 is our CMD, so that's good. That's good, enable virtual device. Was that something we need? What are you, what are you guys saying? Bottom of the drive, uh, yeah, you're just, um, you have to attach it in vice settings. Oh, we do? I have to attach it. So let's close this. So I think what you're saying is we have to go here, attach disk image 10. Ah, but yeah, I'm not sure what we're attaching though because, okay, let, let's, let me close this. Let's go back up here one more time. This is, I can't believe we got hung up here. This should be really easy. And I sense that there's something wrong going on here. All right, in this step, we are going to configure drive 10 to use a computer's file system to point. Let's go into device settings. Let me see what, uh, hide taskbar equals right click and empty space, right click. Okay, uh, where do I, right click. Uh, and select taskbar settings. Where's taskbar settings? Taskbar settings. See, I'm, I'm clicking. Taskbar settings, I finally found it, there we go. Thank you so much. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, where is taskbar behavior? And automatically hide, it says it's on automatically hide taskbar. What in the world? Why isn't it hiding? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, can I put this on the left uh, center? You can't put the taskbar anywhere else, can you? This is goofy. Automatically hide is already, I know, I know, and it's not going away. Uh, it's, it's goofy, uh, it's Windows, what do we expect? Uh, oh man, and you can't move it to like on the side either, can you? To the right, which probably isn't good either. Uh, off. This is not about Windows. I, sh I need to get off that, but I do, man, I do wish that would go away. Is it, is, let me kill these right here. Are these too close or something that it's not wanting to auto hide? No, that's not it either. All right, I give up, it's Windows. Uh, let's see, let's get back to what we were doing. Drive 10, in this step you're going to configure, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna figure this out, folks. Let's get this thing over here, let's figure it out. In this step we are going to configure Drive 10 to use our computer's file system. Let's go into device settings and enable virtual file system. So, preferences. Settings. This is where it gets weird because it's not the same. So Drive, uh, Drive 10, enable virtual devices is selected. Enable virtual device is selected host file system, that's right. So it's just a little bit different, but we're gonna figure this out. I have found that this gives you a little faster, dis uh, let's go to device enable, okay, setting I found, okay, did that. Next, we want to configure drive 10 to use virtual file system by setting the drive, oh, drive type to none, hold on, hold on. Oh, it is set to none, shoot. Enabling the IEC device option. Hey, I don't think we did that. Here we go, IEC device option. Uh, and then selecting the host file system. See, I don't think we did this, folks. So maybe that, that's what the problem is. So uh, in the end, you have something that looks like this uh, or something similar. Okay, I don't think we had IEC selected before. Uh, so uh, you can drag it to the, oh, you can? Yeah, it's not even dragging. You might be able to drag yours. I can't drag mine. Anyway, giving up. Back back to uh, the real work at hand here, not fixing windows. Um, okay, so I, I don't think, again, I don't think we had that. Then set the location. Okay, so then we're back to the location. So let's go back over here. Host file system. Let's go to 10. Uh, it is selected that time. Now that I have everything, let's give that a shot and see if it can see it. Uh, also make sure, uh, did we do that? I think we did. Let me just verify one more time. Uh, yep, we have that for all of these. Okay. And does that look like this one? Yes, it does. Okay. 
So let's try this again. Uh, because I don't think IEC device was selected and that is critical. I do know that that is a piece of the puzzle that you must have. So uh, I'm just gonna go back up here and see if this device is now available. Ah, it is now available, all right. Uh, so then, uh, yeah, I know. Ooh, there we go. No, not that one, there we go. Boom, look at us guys, we got it. All right, <sighs> let's get this OS installed, shall we? Okay, uh, congratulations, you've made it this far, you're almost ready to install, almost ready? Oh my gosh, how much more can there be? Okay, here we go, we need to copy, this is where we are right here, we need to, how long have we been at this? We've been at this for an hour and a half. It takes an hour and a half to install this on a Commodore 64. Whew, I am not, you know what, I am going to leave this video. People need to see this. Uh, and I think they need to see every step along the way. I don't know that I'm going to edit this down. I don't know, maybe I'll make an edit. We'll see. Do I still, am I still on, yeah, I'm making sure I still have room on my hard drive. I got plenty of room. Uh, okay, let's go. The last step in installing is to copy all the installation files over to the new partition you created on your HD. If you set up Vice to use Jiffy DOS for the C64's kernel ROM image, you can use Jiffy DOS Jiffy DOS is built in to drive file copier. Yeah, we want to do that. If you're not using, okay, so we want to use the to file copier. The way this works is you use a command to set the source device and another command to set the destination. Then you copy, use the copy command four times. The source device is 10, right? The Windows file system, yep. That we finally got working. The destination device is nine. Yep, that's the CMD HD. So, so far so good. The four files to copy are called C64OS, Setup, C64 Restore, and lastly, Restore.Cartridge. Those are all here. Um, and let's see, Restore.Car is a large archive that will take several minutes to transfer. So we'll have an opportunity to get caught up on chat over here. So if you have questions, you can start popping those in chat. So I think what we do is we just go ahead and get started. So the first one is at pound. Oh man, pound and 10. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, the next one is at X9. So we're setting up a destination. Okay, that worked, good. And then we want uh, asterisk, asterisk, I got, you probably wonder why he's looking at the keyboard. Uh, I have some weird things going on with the keyboard. So uh, right now, because I did not set it up um, to mimic a C64 keyboard. And I have these keycaps that look like a C64 on this ThinkPad I'm using, but it's actually <laughs> using the traditional keyboard layout. It's a whole thing. I'll fix that later when I get all this working because I want these keystrokes to be exactly the way they would have been on a Commodore 64. Uh, oh, see, now there I go again. And we want C64. OS and it says P. Huh, okay, so let's keep those fingers crossed. Looks like something's happening, guys. Jiffy DOS is doing its thing. So we're gonna let that go. That one that, that was fast. Uh, you know what? What's nice is is I can come up here because they're so similar, and I can just type setup and P. C64 OS setup and P. Yep, let's do that one. All right, that one's going. I guess I could use warp. Um, I mean, that would be another option. Again, I'm, I'm a little, oh, so that one worked. And then the next one is C64 restore and P. Does that look right? C64 restore P, there we go. That one's going. That one was fast. Okay, it said this one's gonna take a while. So this one is uh, let's just do this one this way and restore, oops, restore.car. And this one is an S. Did I get that right? Re oh, no, I didn't. There we go. Restore.car. All right, and it's copying. Okay, and then it says, uh, oh, here we go. We can learn a little bit while we're doing it. The letter at the end of each copy command sets the Commodore file type of the copied file in the CHM partition. P is for program and S is for sequential. Interesting. The first three files should be PRGs. 
but the restore.car file should be copied as a sequential file. The file types listed in the Windows File System device tender don't matter. Okay. Uh, while restore is copying, this would be a good time to turn on warp mode. Sweet, we can turn on warp mode. Let's do it. All right, we are in warp. It may still take a few minutes, even in warp mode. All four files have been copied. You can skip straight to section, install, oh man. Look at all that, we just got the pop through. Okay, so, curious guys, are you as, as excited as I am because we're getting ready to install, wait a minute, we're still installing? Holy cow, we're getting ready to install. We still not ready, we're gonna have this thing. This thing is gonna be working by the end of the day. I'm, I'm convinced that Feeling the good Commodore mojo and, and, and stuff going on. So pins and needles. I know, Matthew. I cannot believe how many of you have held on this long with me. And thankfully, the stutter from the stream got all worked out, too. I was a little concerned about that. Uh, Xander, I, yeah, how can you automate? Well, I have to wonder. You could, but maybe this would make it way too hard uh, to steal. But once I do this and I create an image, couldn't he have just shipped an image on the SD card for Vice that would automatically load because that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an image when this is done and I can just load that like this and I should be able to transfer that to other computers including my Mac or Linux. Um, so I'm curious why we couldn't just do that. Now I may have to remount the drives. I have to check um, the Vice stuff out to see if you can actually automate, does the image automatically mount? I don't think it does. I think you still have to do that, but wouldn't that be easier? It seems like there could be something. Um, so pins and needles, here we go. Got, haven't, haven't done some chat on the screen for a while, so let's do that. Uh, here's Xander saying we should have a uh, monitor. Let me go back up here, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Side says, uh, God, need to leave, what a cliffhanger. We'll have to look at the rest another day. Well, yeah, uh, and hopefully we will have a good outcome for our cliffhanger for him. So thanks for joining us today, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you can drag it to the top. I'm gonna have to play with it because it somehow, for some reason, Jamie, this thing is locked. I cannot move this bar at the bottom to save my life. Uh, this is just Windows. Uh, or as you say, we're used to. Yeah, it, it seems like I vaguely remember us being able to do that. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Could he just have shipped a hard drive image? That's kind of what I'm wondering. So maybe that'll be a question. Uh, maybe he'll, uh, the, uh, and I can't remember, is it George? Uh, oh, I cannot remember his name. Maybe he'll see this video and drop in a comment and let us know why he's decided to go this route. But this is difficult. And which makes me wonder, you know, it's got the installation in here for how to install this on an SD to IEC. Let me show you that right here. As a matter of fact, I can, uh, can do this for you right here so you can see that. Here's the instructions for getting it on ST to IEC. And um, there's a lot, it seems like there's a lot to it here too. Um, and obviously we're not gonna find a, a CMD HD anywhere, uh, but I'm, I'm interested into uh, kind of digging into the book too and seeing how to get this done. What I would like to do, my next step, and if y'all are interested, let me know in chat. My next step is to kind of, um, it looks like it's still going. My next step is to see if I can get this working on my, I think my 128, which is right here. Of course, it really would be cool if we could get it working on a Mega 65 and C64 mode, but I'm not sure that's going to work. Uh, I may play around with it. There may be some way to get it, um, but uh, gosh, I want to think with the new C64 core for the Mega 65, uh, but it doesn't support IEC, or does it? I have to check. The key thing is C64 OS requires the support of an IEC device. And this is one of the reasons that it won't work on like a the C64 Mini or Maxi either, because those don't support it. While that, that, those run a version of Vice, those versions of Vice don't support the IEC. It'd be really great if the folks who create the Mini and Maxi would team up with the developers of C64 OS and maybe combine to make this thing work. Can you imagine? You buy the DC64 out of the box, now some licensing or some, at least some way where we, it's an option, and you pop it on your desk and it has an option to load C64 OS. That would be cool. Uh, but uh, uh, alas, I don't know that that's available. So we'll see, we've got some other devices. Uh, let me go ahead and let's see where we are. Oh, man, this thing is still, look at this. This thing is still right, 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 right there. He did say it would take several minutes. So let me check in chat over here. Oh, be careful. I don't want to botch this thing. Let's get priority back to here. Uh, I don't know how long we're supposed to wait. Uh, let me clear here. 
uh, but uh, we're gonna keep waiting and uh, we're gonna wait as long as we have to and all 11 of you who are watching thank you for continuing to watch uh, oh actually people I think just got tired of watching because it just dropped from 11 to 8 so I know I don't know how long this is gonna take uh, I am committed if any of you are committed happy to do that so hey uh, if you have any questions in chat pop this would be a great time to pop those in we're just gonna let it keep working because uh, we're not giving up until this thing goes. Uh, I'm going to keep it going. So let me just, I think while maybe while it's doing this, our fortune favors the persistence. Uh, you are absolutely right. And you are all very fortunate today to sit here and witness me copying stuff on a Commodore 64 virtually to a virtual Commodore. I'm here for the long haul. Just while I saw that you, uh, Jamie, was uh, wiring some. Uh, by the way, this is a good time to plug Jamie's channel. Make sure you go over to Jamie's channel. Jamie just did a video that I just really enjoyed. And he uh, fired up uh, his uh, Tandy uh, Coco. And I don't remember the model, Jamie. You can help me. And he's plugged it into this. Um, I love the LCD monitor he got. He got a clear... Uh, case, uh, and I'm not going to give it all away because I want you guys to go. He got a clear case LCD screen and he's got this thing plugged in. But then he also played with some, uh, yeah, the MC10. He played with some um, MP3 files and checked what level of quality on an uh, MP3 do you need in order for his MC10 to be able to read from an MP3 as a cassette player. It's, I didn't say that really well. It's a great video, short, sweet. Go check it out. Jamie, uh, I think I gave you... Uh, prison TV. Yeah, I think I gave you the opportunity. Have I done that yet so that you can post a link? Try and post a link in there and see if it works. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, one of the things I need to do is make sure and get you as a, uh, um, not an ad, well, uh, yeah, as a chat admin for the channel so that you can do those things and put things in there. So, uh, yeah, the prison TV was fun. Uh, I loved watching that one. That was a lot of fun. And then I also saw on Twitter that you were uh, putting in some boxes. So uh, this is, I, I guess this would also be a great place to do some shameless self-promotion uh, since we're here. Hey, let me go over here to uh, buy me, buy me a coffee.com slash retro combs. If you are not a member of the channel and you want to come in at a very comfortable rate of $1 per month, how about this? I sound like PBS now. Uh, you can do that and you can join the Discord. Uh, I do have a Discord Plus. You automatically get access to a bunch of other freebies, uh, which if you go over here, let's see if I can do that from here. I'm not seeing the full page. So if you, I think you have to log in. Yeah, I need to log in so you can see, but there's all kinds of freebies that you have access to, including some live streams that aren't live. Like this one I might make. If I were to edit it, it would be a... Um, a live stream that would only be available to members and then I would edit but it's somebody who wanted the full live stream so that is an option for you if you want to do that if you join it as other levels you can actually uh, become a, a producer and an executive producer and get your name in all the videos and everything so that's kind of fun and uh, also if you didn't see how much for the tote bag and sticker? Oh, I, I, uh, you don't get a tote bag, but bag, but I do have stickers, as you know. Uh, if you um, let's see, what level? You know, that's a good question. I'm trying to remember. If you come in at the, I believe it's the. <laughs> let's see. If you come in at the, doo -doo 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 -doo, you can see what you get here. Uh, at the here's the C64 level. I think that gets you. Oh, it must be the plus four. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, you get the sticker. So if you join at, this, at the plus four level, I will send you a sticker. Uh, so there is an option there, and I, I do that. So, oh, somebody's printing. Looks like the lovely accountant is printing. So there you go. Now you'll hear that in the background. Uh, I can't believe the copy is still going. It is. Check this out. He did say it would be a while, didn't he? He didn't say how long, though. Can you imagine if this wasn't... I know you, you can't believe how long it is, Tara, because you want me to shut up and quit talking about hawking my channel and membership, right? I get you. Uh, so there, there is that. Let's see. Um, I don't think he says how long it takes, and we haven't even installed yet. Is that even on? It is on warp. See? You can see it right here. It is on warp. Look at that. I'd hate to take it off of warp at this point. But, you know, this is probably the way it was back in the day. You probably just left because these are these are large, large files. I and, and see we still got disk activity so it tells me it's working everything looks like it's working nothing's locked up 
uh, I can still get to everything. So we're going we're gonna to leave it going. This will be one of those things where if I do leave this, which I, again, if this works, I think I will, uh, I'll put in the time codes and I'll say, hey, skip here. Boom, go over there. You don't want to see all that nonsense uh, and wait that long. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should edit this video or just leave it intact the way it is? I'd love to love to hear what you guys think. Uh, maybe there's some value in just leaving the full thing, but I don't know. It's I'm, I'm dropping viewers like crazy, man. <laughs> so this copy thing needs to hurry on. Hurry up. Uh, because everybody's saying I'm done. I'm out of here. Later. Uh, so... Let's see how it goes first. Okay, yeah, you're right. I tr oh, wait. Oh, it stopped. Did you guys see that? Look, it stopped. We're there. I truly, truly have zero nostalgia for the cassette drives. Oh, Matthew, come on. I, I have a little nostalgia. Uh, if you leave as is, but with markers, not too bad. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, Jamie. I think there'd be some value. Okay, we're back. Let's not delay. Let's get on to the next step. Look at this. Uh, let me turn off warp. But that, can you imagine not warp? That would have taken forever. All right, congratulations. Whew, you are now ready to install C64 OS. At this point, you can remove drive 10 from your configuration as you will no longer need the virtual file system. Uh, in fact, I recommend you don't have it active. Okay, so let's go to preferences. Oh wait, file, um, is it uh, detach? So we wanna detach, look at all these drives. Look at that, that's pretty interesting. Uh, we want a uh, number drive 10. So we want to detach disk 10. Okay, it's out. Whew, I'm worried about detaching stuff. I'm afraid we're going to break something. Okay. All right. Now, in fact, I recommend you don't have it active. Okay. Now, before we begin, let's make sure that we have all the files we need by doing a directory for number nine. So we'll go at, oops, at number nine. Okay, we've changed to nine and then at, at dollar. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. Listing the constant directory in drive nine. Okay, load and run uh, C64 OS program from drive nine. From here, you can follow the instructions in chapter two, installation for normal. C okay, so we're, we're switching pages now. Great. Uh, load and run C64, I guess I should go ahead and do that, right? So let's see, what was, um, it's this and C64OS. Is that the one? C64OS, yep, there we go. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Why didn't that work? Oh, because I didn't put OS, I put 0S, there we go. Okay, there we go. And now run, ooh. Looky there, looky there. Welcome to the C64 OS setup tool. All right, uh, so let's go here, let's go to this page. And that's kind of nice, it took us right there. Look at that, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, let's see, um, the first thing we need to do is, uh, I have read and agree to the license term. So let me go ahead and do that, that should get us next, okay. Uh, we want a fresh installation. Okay, let's slow down, Stephen. Let's make sure we go over here. Uh, and we want press return to accept the default number, which is nine. Let's see, does that look good? Um, uh, hey, Sankat, good to see you, Maurice. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, hey, guys, just a coincidence. I f uh, found this in live chat. I just came home from a week holiday. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed your holiday. So uh, we are installing, in case you uh, haven't been tracking with us, we are installing C64 OS in Vice. So that's what you're seeing here. Uh, we're giving it our best shot. We have just spent the last almost two hours, two and a half hours trying to get this thing installed or hour and a half, hour and a half, sorry, hour and a half. So it's, it looks like it's gonna be about a two hour process. Um, and then we are going to come over here and we are going to accept the default, which is here. And please uh, accept, press return to accept the default position, uh, default partition, okay, and proceed with installation, okay. So there we go, now we're installing. This is probably a time where I can use warp again, but I'm gonna let it go uh, without, look at that. Looks like it's working. Uh, let's see. Wow, this is quite a chore, but this will now be the go-to guide on how to get it. Thank you, Mark. I think you're probably right. 
uh, for people who need to get this done, they'll have these instructions. I, you know, again, I did not prepare or even think that this would be left, but I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, I will go back in after this is live. I'll put in a new title card, um, do something fun with it. I will also uh, add some time codes. I'll put in more information and uh, in the video description, let people know how they can kind of move around. Uh, but I think uh, as far as live streams go, um, this is about as good as it gets for this, right? I mean, We've been lucky. We've kind of hit with no real big major issues. And thanks to the help of all of you uh, in the chat room, that's been helpful. Hey, let's go ahead. Hey, let's check it out. Lamborghini, Lexus. Somebody's a car fan. Look at this. McLaren. What is all this? Oh, those are Koalas. Uh, those are uh, image files. I'm going to go ahead and hit warp. Um, we'll get warp going here. There we go. I was speed that up a little bit. And everything's going a little bit fast. Oh, look, NX-01, that's the Enterprise, and there's the original. Look at it. We're going to have some images to look at. That's going to be fun. Uh, the installer program is run automatically. It states that it is operating to outputs. To, when the installer is complete, you are returned to the ready prompt. Although C64 OS is ready to be booted, some configuration is recommended. Holy cow, this is like the installation that never ends. Are you guys feeling that too? That's kind of where I am. Yeah, some, definitely some sweet wallpaper for sure. Uh, we'll get to see what that looks like. I'm just, wow, just amazed that there's more. Um, when the installer is complete and returned, all those are, it is recommended for your specific hardware before you boot. This is described in the configurations. So we're on installation for Vice, so we'll follow this. Uh, wow, we still have more to go. Look at this. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. What is this? Set up Vice with a pre-configured CMD? No. No, that is not true. Set up Vice for CMD HD and configure a hard drive from scratch? Why do I think that that's what I just did? Hold on. Did we just go through all of this? Oh, no, no, this is this is the way it is. Okay, I, phew, I was worried there that we went through some step uh, that we didn't need to go through. <laughs> oh, man, that was, don't laugh in chat. I see you guys laughing in chat. <laughs> I was right. This is the way you do it. Okay. Uh, so hold on. Uh, it's still going over here. looks like we got a lot, lot going on over here. I'm definitely going to make an image and back this image up uh, so that I never have to do this again. Uh, this is painful. I can't imagine what an upgrade, because this is version one. What is it going to look like to upgrade? When he goes to vert like version 1.1, I am not going to go through this again for version 1.1. There better be some easy way to upgrade the system files on my, I guess my virtual hard drive, so that I don't have to go through this again. That would be painful. I mean, not knocking any. I mean, this is this is the way it probably was and back in the day, and it's much faster now. But uh, you know, Retro Combs likes the touch of modern with his retro and doesn't like to have to. Make it feel like it's the 1980s when it comes to waiting long times. Because at this point, I would go for tea or something and walk or go out and run. Or, but I can't leave you all hanging, right? Gosh, I'm on warp. Look at this. It's still going. Whew. Wow. C60. Uh, okay. So I guess uh, let me go ahead and open this up to here, this configuration. Uh, I, d I will say this. The, the online documentation for this is amazing. There's some great stuff. Even if, even if you don't have C64 OS, go look at this documentation. And yeah, we found a couple of things that maybe could have been tightened up a little bit. I would have made things a lot shorter and just given a step-by-step. -step. It should at least, I think for me, and you guys know the way I write on my blog, step-by-step, -step, two listings, maybe one for people who want to know why, but then others who just want to get it done, right? And do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. With all the, the exposition in between, that's made it a little bit difficult. And we've had to kind of read through that. If you just told me step by step, um, that I think that would have been better. Again, have the option. If you like the long one, if you like the short one. Uh, I actually thought before I did this that I might do a blog post on how to do this. I am not going to do that. <laughs> I don't want it. Well, Xander, I'm glad you think it's fun. Uh, I, I'm glad you are enjoying it and happy to have you here as always, my friend. Um, so here is the uh, C64 OS user's guide. So this configuration and settings uh, use the configure tool. Looks like once we even get it on here, we've got some configuring to do. Uh, well, it looks like date and time stuff. So this should be pretty easy. I will 
I don't know. Should we make this a part two live stream and maybe come back and do this later? Um, I kind of think, oh, look, it's done. Unarchiving complete. It's, it's, oh gosh, I don't know if maybe, maybe part two next week we come back in and finish this. I'm afraid I'm going to lose my momentum though. Let's, let's see how it goes. Okay. When the installer is complete, you are ready uh, and returned. Although CD is ready to be booted, some configuration is, re is recommended uh, for your specific hardware. Uh, installation on Vice. Uh, CD is own stock, but requires storage. Okay. We've done all this. So, um, Oh, here's some information here. Installation on Fit Pen Ulta and the Ultimate 64. There you go. If you want to get this installed on the Ultimate 64, uh, and it's the location. But how do we start it? I guess we'll go here to our configuration. All right. Uh, this chapter discusses how to configure and boot up. Okay, so that's where we are. Let me check chat here. Are you guys? Do you guys want to keep going, Combs? All right. All right. Uh, Michael. Hey, welcome, Michael. Uh, good to have you uh, popping in here. Michael is a thumbs up for let's just keep the fun rolling and wow uh, okay well we might just need to do that so keep going uh, Terrapin okay it's ready it's a fun stream okay so we're gonna we're gonna keep going folks here we go let's see if we can at least get this thing going okay this uh, essential configuration is done the configure tool a c64 program that is ready to do configured uh, utilities run from within c64 OS provide additional opportunities for configuration okay using the configuration tool here we go uh, we want to, oh my goodness gracious, look at these commands. Holy smokes. Let's see. Um, in the settings directory, how did this guy even figure all this out? I don't, how did he create this, figure all this out and go through all this? This thing must have taken years in development, which I know it probably was. Uh, in the settings directory is a program called configure that loads and runs C64's ready prompt. This configures a C64 OS installation for your specific hardware. It can be run at any time, but it should be run at least once before the first time you boot. Okay, so that's where we are. Let me get a drink here, guys. Hang on. On the C64 OS system drive and partition, change current directory to dash dash OS settings, then load and run configure. The device in the example is number 12. Use the device number assigned to your, okay, so ours is nine, right? Uh, okay, Jiffy DOS is gonna make this a little bit easier, thankfully. Here we go, this is what we want right here. I'm gonna blow this up just a little bit for you. Uh, there we go, hey, that got rid of the side stuff, that's good. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do C, oh, oh, gotta turn off warp. This is where it gets really weird if you don't. At cd slash slash os slash settings slash okay that worked and then uh, up arrow up arrow uh oh this is going to be a problem because i am not i am not oh no how am i going to do this um, um i think i'm going to have to change my preferences settings i think i'm going to go ahead and change my keyboard uh, let's see, where is that? Input devices, keyboard, and we're going to make this positional and close. And then I should get my up arrow. Oh, no. Ah, where's my up arrow? That's not good. It's not giving my, um, that's not right. Uh, here we go. I'm trying to find my up arrow, guys. Um, this is weird. Uh, you're going to think this is really odd, but um, I've had to do this before. Um, up arrow uh, pet ski. Here's a little, little trick for you. If, uh, and I don't know if this is the page. Yeah, here it is. Uh, I'm looking for the up arrow. Let's see. Hello. Da, 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 da. Da. 
All right, so what I'm doing is looking for the character right here, and I'm going to copy that. I know this is weird, guys, but there's a reason for it. Um, trust me on this one. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to edit and paste. Oh, it didn't take it. Oh, I've done it before. It must, must be a Mac thing. Oh, no. That's horrid. I can't get my up arrow. Oh, and, and this is really freaking out on me, the, uh, the windows over here. You see the way that's dinging up? So I'm trying to do this, and I, 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 I cannot get my up key over here to work. Ugh. I'm overthinking it. I am overthinking it. My brain is going here. Uh, load config. Yeah, you're. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, configure. Thank you. You're right. I'm trying. I'm doing it the hard way because you're right. Thank you all. Uh, load comma eight. Now my keyboard's back to the C64 mode, but okay. Uh, load. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> yeah. Oh, didn't find it. Look what I do wrong. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, load. It's actually comma nine. Yeah. Because it is on. Yeah. See, we got to go uh, nine. So load configure comma not. Oh, comma nine. Not eight comma nine. There we go. Thanks, chat room. Once again, saved. Try Shift-6 on Vice. Oh, is that it? Shift-6? Uh, well, I can't do it now, but I'm going to write that down. Shift-6. Really? Shift-6. I thought Shift-6 was uh, something else, but I'll, I'll check it out later. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely got nine. All right, so here we go. Now we're good. Uh, and so we come down here. Uh, the yes or no questions about date and time may be answered according to your person. Press return to accept the default. Uh, date and time. Display time in the menu bar. Do we want time in the menu bar? Um, I think we do. Let's do that. Uh, use 12 hour time. No, I like 24 hour time. I'm an old military guy. Blink the seconds indicator. No, that's just going to take up uh, stuff. Uh, okay, so let's see. Mouse input. Here we go. C64 comes with. So these are our options. Following are the several mouse options. Uh, which mouse pointer? Normal. I'm going to assume that's it. Compact. Um, uh, this is Amiga, isn't it? Win oh, wait, that's Windows and Mac. This is Amiga. I'm going to go with, um, I don't know, I kind of like this. You guys like it? I'm going to do compact. I'm going to, we're going to try compact. Uh, speed. All right, here we go. Uh, I, I typically like fast. Um, Let's, uh, if you use a proportional mouse, like 1350 more compatible, mouse speeds affects acceleration. If you use a joist, so hopefully these are available as a slider or something when we get in here, but I'm thinking it's not. I'm thinking we always have to configure this way. Maybe that's a version two thing where we get a, a settings, but we're going to find out. Uh, the double click delay, um, let's do mouse speed. I, um, oh dear, my, uh, 18, of, let's just keep the default. Double click delay, we'll keep the default. Uh, pointer, inner color, black. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Uh, the inner colors, higher contrast. Yep, let's do that. Uh, outer color, gray, that should work. I think we'll do that. Uh, right hand or left hand. I am right handed, which is the default. Global system, show CPU busy indicator. Uh, let's see, the CPU busy indicator is a clock animation appears in the top left corner of the screen if CPU is occupied for longer than a few seconds. And in any case, the activity is taking place. Uh, then there, hey, let's go ahead and do that. I think we want to do that. Uh, system wide keyboard shortcuts. Each shortcut consists of a modifier. Yep, we want that. Uh, toggle status bar. Um, toggle status bar, control plus Commodore space. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Uh, definitely accept that. Uh, take a screenshot. Ooh, we can take screenshots. That's that's kind of cool. So control Commodore P. Let me control, control plus Commodore plus P is a screenshot. 
I'm sure these are in the manual too. I'll come back and take a look at those. Um, toggle graphics mode, toggle status bar. Uh, so control plus space is menu bar. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so that gets me a few things right there. As a matter of fact, I think I, um, nah, forget. I'll, I was thinking about taking a screenshot, so uh, we'll do that later. Uh, dee, 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 dee. Okay, uh, yes, we definitely want the screenshot stuff. All right, which status bar mode at boot up? Um, drive status, yeah, let's just use the default, so we use one. All right, expansion memory. Okay, now this is interesting. Expansion memory is divided into two areas, slots for fast app switching and free memory for use by the app. Each, okay, let's see what we have here. Expansion, C64 makes use of the expanded memory for RAM expansion unit on a Commodore 1750 or compatible RAM expansion unit. To enable fast app switching, C64 OS auto detects the presence of the RAM expansion unit and its capacity and also provides an abstraction layer to help programmers write applications. You can choose how much memory. So um, I don't think we have that connected in Vice. Uh, we, yeah, now you need to add the expansion with Vice, but if I add, so can I add the expansion with Vice now and that works? Let's see, preferences, settings, uh, so let's go to, I think it's under machine, uh, memory expansion hacks. Um, I thought there was cartridge, is it cartridges where you have the yeah, RAM expansion module? Uh, right there. Uh, oh, it looks like it's, uh, if I enable it's right here. Uh, but I don't want to mess this up. So let's see. Looks like it goes all the way up to two. Wow, look at this, or the ultimate, up to 16. All right, boom and boom, and uh, close. Let's, uh, that looks right. Uh, now, this, see, this is where we're guessing. This is where everything's just gonna go boom. Yeah, I know, it might restart Vice. That's what I'm concerned about. Uh, 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 yeah, uh. Will it tell me, though, if it does? Um, let's, uh, I'll tell you what, before I do that, I'm going to save a snapshot, save snapshot, and let's save this uh, here. Let's put it on my, we'll put this one on my desktop, and uh, let's just call this uh, help. There we go, and let's save that. Okay, so if we do this and it reboots, at least I can get back to this spot using my, uh, yeah, or just run config again. So let's try it. Let's, we want that. We want all, oh, look, it's in there. It's in there. It's already there. Uh, so now how much, uh, app switching do we want? Banks is 256. So we're going to use our plus minus. There we go, 256 slots. How many app switching slots? Is that right? That didn't look right. I guess that's right. Uh, back again, miss the installation. I see all, at least most of it. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you're back. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to try that right there and press return. Illegal quantity. Oh, oh, rats. Um, we're going to try something else here. I'm going to, I'm going to back this off here a little bit. Um, well, let's, let's see. Let's go back into, oh, let's see if our snapshot works. File load snapshot image. Oh, vice error, that's not good. Oh, and it locked up hard. Look at that, not responding. Gosh, we were so close. I should have just ignored the memory expansion at this point. 
I think we've we've yeah not closed the program. There we go. Well, rats. Here we go. Let's load her back up. And I think we have to reattach nine. And that is this one right here. Uh, yes. There we go. And let's see if we can get this thing loaded again. Uh, man, that is just disappointing. Um, well, before we do that, let's see. Let me see what my settings are. Uh, let's see. That was cartridges, right? RAM expansion module. Uh, let's keep it at 512. What does it say? Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll tell you what. Let's not use. Let's not use RAM expansion. Let's just see if we can get this guy running first. Uh, I just want to get it running. I can always come back and we can do that other thing. My opinion is you inadvertently change the number of slots for, oh, I did I, is that what happened? Uh, 16 meg. Uh, I did, well, I looked at that and yeah, I think you were right. Did you set the REUs to 512? So we're just gonna do, we're gonna do it without RAM expansion right now. So I just wanna get it running first. You all with me? Okay, we'll, we'll, I'll cover that later. I can always come back in and pop in there and do that later. So let me go back up here and reload our um, thing here. So let's do CD, um, boo -doo 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 -doo. oh, we got to do at, at CD slash, um, slash OS slash settings. All right. And as you all said, don't overthink this combs. Figure. It's getting easier every time you do it, I guess, though, right? Uh oh, what did I do wrong? Uh, configure load. Configure. Huh? What happened? Oh man, now I'm getting flustered. Uh, let's see, I'm getting tired too. I have to say, I. <laughs> oh, shift six for arrow. That's right. That's what you said. Shift six. There it is. Thank you. Uh, conf configure. There it is, searching for configure. Oh, file not found. Uh, something's going on. Uh, so, uh, oh, you know what? I think I need to change the device. Um, and that was um, run a directory. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I need to, yeah, let's load. Okay, there it is. Okay, and I need to, let's see, it was it. Is that it? Yeah, that's, I think that's what I needed to do right there. We forgot to do that. And then C, uh, now we should be able to come over here to at CD slash OS, oh, two of those, slash OS slash settings. And shift F6, thank you guys. Uh, configure, there we go. All right, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we wanted the compact here. Uh, mouse speed, we're just going to keep the defaults. Keep that, keep that, uh, keep that. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, default and uh, expansion memory is divided into how much? Okay, we're going to just leave it like we're just, we're not going to try it, okay? We're just going to go. Uh, okay, uh, double click free memory to open. Default, we'll leave that. Uh, display memory values in kilobytes. Okay, so we'll do one. Uh, drivers, okay, a real time clock is used to set the system date. Let's, let me get caught up here. Here we go. Um, real time clock is used to set the, the date in the system and time is highly recommended. If you don't have one, a DDD Arduino module can be used real time clock driver. Um, I think we're going to, have to use four um, because we don't have any of those for this. So we're going to do four. A 1351 are compatible. Uh, looks like 
we want number one. Let's check our thing over here. Get caught up, memory expansion. Like I say, we can come back and do that some other time. We just want to see if we can get this working. Um, here we go, RTC, get caught up here. Don't need that. Mouse, here we go. And we are going to use a 1351 because that's what we have emulated and configure default places, go menu places. Um, let's see, go menu places, here we go. In the file manager, there are four configurable places accessible from the go menu. The configure tool can be used to set these automatically to default valid places. If you choose to accept this option four directories are created in the root directory. Um, so if you already configured these places and you decided, okay, so I think we're just gonna use the default. There we go. All right, configuration complete. Okay, guys, here it is. We are at the time where it says we are finally going to boot. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, for all of you, that nine of you that have hung out with me, what's going to happen? We are going to boot this thing up. We'll play around a little bit in it, but we're getting out because it is 2.30. We've been at this for two hours trying to get this thing installed if you can believe that that's pretty amazing two two hours it's taken uh but i will yes make a snapshot you are very that is very smart uh save snapshot and uh we're gonna save uh we're gonna call this one after or configured let's call this one con configured now the last snapshot didn't work but i think it's just because i did i needed to reboot uh vice so uh let's go ahead and put this on my desktop and let's save that one and save all right we got it okay so let's give this a shot everybody cross those fingers give me virtual cross fingers in chat all of you that are hanging out with me and have hung out with me this far if if this boots our time was well spent together right maybe i got you okay here we go once of you once you have run through the config tool Whew, at least once on a fresh installation so you are ready to boot for the first time. Load and run C64 OS from the root directory. All right, here we go. And we're gonna use our, our, our Shift F6. Thanks again for that. And we are going to run C64 OS and see how it goes. Here we go. Oh, didn't work. Okay, we, did, we didn't do something right. Load and run C64 OS from the root directory. Okay, let's see what it says down here. Oh, it looks like we've got some stuff to do. Hold on, let's go ahead and do load one here, colon, wow, C64. How am I ever gonna remember all this? And this is comma nine. All right, let's see if it works. All right. We're one run command away, folks. Here we go. Fingers crossed again. Root direct. Yep, got you in chat. Here we go. We are running and we're loading. Something's happening. <gasps> Boom! Check it out. We are running C64 OS in Vice two and a half hours later. Check it out. Now we'll have to see if my, my mouse is working. So there it is. I think at this point we need to go full screen. I think we are at the point where we don't need our instructions anymore and we should look at this and see how it's going. All right, so this looks pretty good. I am going to, uh, let's see, uh, if, I think if I click in here, it's gonna capture my mouse. Let's see if it works. It did not capture my mouse, so I need to capture my mouse. Uh, how do we do, see, this is where this whole Windows thing is bothering me again. I cannot get rid of my stinking it will not auto hide to save my life. Okay, uh, Alt M. Yes, that's right. I took that note, didn't I? Alt M would mouse capture. Yes, thank you. Alt M. So Alt and M. Look, oh, look at that. I am, this is cool. This is so cool. I'm in. Vice settings. Did you set up the, yes, I did. Uh, we're, we are good. Here we go. All right, about, uh, here's here's drives. Here's calculate. Are you, let's do it. Let's do the calculator. Double click. Now we don't have memory expansion, but still, look at that. Check it out. Now I wonder if I go to warp, uh, let's do Alt-M, so to release it. Let's go to warp. 
I'm just curious now if we go alt M can I can I manage this thing oh it still works in warp mode pretty well check that out guys uh, so I can do it's a little hinky on the mouse I probably want to play with some of those settings Look at that, I just used the calculator. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, supposedly this thing's multitasking too. You can kind of move this around. Um, let's go ahead and pull up our drives. Now this may, yeah, I may, I may need to not do warp. I think warp's probably gonna flake out some things and not let things register. So let's go back in here. Looks like, can I hit D for drives? Oh, uh, com uh, Commodore D. Oh, there's full screen. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Okay, so let's go ahead and close. What do we got going on here? Uh, looks like we close here. All right, let's do about C64. So there we go. There is, that's it. Gregory uh, Naku, I think. Here's some info. Here's some mods. I'm not sure. Let's see what that says. Info, mods, oh, here we go. So here's some additional information, that's really cool. And about this app, let's double click that. The responsiveness is, it's just a little hinky. I think uh, with some memory expansion, I'll go back and work on that. I think it's gonna be kind of cool. Now that is a computer, isn't it? Aren't you all glad you just hung in there with me this long? Uh, we'll do a few more things and then we'll get out of here. Uh, but I definitely wanna, I, I love the colors. I will say, I'm really digging the colors. I think it looks really cool. Here's your app launcher. Um, wow, look at that year, uh, 2022. So that's kind of cool. Can you imagine what we would have thought if this had come out back in the 1980s uh, or even the early 90s if we had had this? This, I think if somebody had, you know, Geos wasn't, it, it's interesting, would this compete with Geos? Would it be as well received as what Geos was? I mean, we are using, we have the hindsight of, you know, 40 years, but uh, could it possibly have, oh, chess, look at this. Could it have possibly rivaled Geos in that, you know, it seems fast, it's responsive, uh, it's beautifully done. I mean, look at this, we're loading chess. Now, this is where that memory expansion would probably come in handy. Uh, Nasu, thank you, uh, Michael. Thank you very much. Uh, so here we go, we've got scroll bars. You can see this example here. Pretty nice, pretty, again, pretty responsive, working very well under Vice. I can't wait to see if I can get this working on real hardware. Really a lot to go there. Let's show the board here. Oh, that's beautiful. Check it out, guys. This is pretty nice. Uh, and we can uh, make our move. There you go. Now, I don't know, it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's, uh, I don't think there's an option for computer. Let's see. Okay, so the menus work by, um, much like other Commodore computers like the Amiga, you click and hold, and then you can see settings here. So here's uh, information to set it. You have themes. Is it? This looks like settings for, oh, look at this, Wi-Fi. Holy cow, Wi-Fi, seriously? Uh, looks like we need to enable that. Here's the date and time. So this is the settings for the C64 OS, not for the game. Uh, so let's see if we can get out of here. Let's go ahead and, oh, here's a D&D roller. I love the multitasking. This is pretty good. Let's roll. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of that. Uh, let's go ahead and click and hold. Now, how do I get out of the game? Here's a, oh, it has a clipboard. Here's a peak. What's a peak? Let's see what peak does. Ah, let you see uh, what's happening behind the scenes. That's pretty nice. We'll close this. Um, I still haven't found out how to, oh, here we go, game. Oh, I see, okay. So there's two menus here. So this is your general settings kind of operating system menu. And then over here, and you can hold and drag and it moves. This over here is for the game itself. So you could load a game, da -da -da, you know, save, uh, whatever. So we can go home here. That's pretty nice. Uh, no C64 is complete without a D&D &D roller. I know, isn't that cool? Okay, so here's an archiver, here's chess. Now we need to check the gallery out. There's a, it did come with several uh, several images, so let's check that out. Uh, let's do, oh, let's do starships. Let's open up that. And looks like we come over here and we can slide through each one. Let's see how that looks. Again, that memory expansion, I think, would help here because it's, uh, how do I open it, though? Let's see. Um, oh, I see. You, you click which one you want over here in the right, and then you click open. So here we go. 
Let's see what this looks like. Miss anything fun? Nearly sliced my thumb. Oh, what happened, Jamie? I'm trying to load an image here. I'm having problems loading images. Uh, my feeling is that Geos was too heavily influenced by the Macintosh system, i.e. bitmap graphics GUI, whereas the 6502 targeting a character base, yeah, I, I think you could be right. Uh, this feels very responsive. So I wish I could just, I cannot figure out how to open these uh, images. Uh, being stupid and not using the right tool. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, I cannot get this thing opened uh, for some reason. I want to load an image so that you all can see this. Let me try something else here. Um, oh wait, I see a little timer up here. Did you guys see that? A little timer. Uh, but what do I click on to see the image? I tried open. Uh, try pulling down the screen from the top. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll give that a shot. I think you're right. Maybe that is. Let's see. So set, see, that's the normal thing there. So you're saying maybe here. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 I see. Uh, starships. Good call. I do like the little clock over there. Okay, then slideshow and five seconds. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. That helped a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, good catch. Uh, and now I did that and nothing's happening. So, manual? And open? Still not going. Okay, let me try it again. Everything's a little slow right now. So here's, uh, let's go next image. So it's just, it's bouncing over. So interesting. Let's see. People, slideshow. Um, poof. Go to the top bar where there's nothing and pull down. Okay. Uh, nothing there. Let's see. Grab the top bar. There's a uh, gallery slideshow. Grab. Uh, yeah, it's just, you can see right here, five seconds. And then if I go gallery and I want starships and I say options, next image, uh, and you can see it says um, command. It's just showing the, oh, uh, there's got to be a way, guys. Let's see. Hey, every, hey Neil, good to have you. We have uh, just spent two and a half hours loading the C64 OS operating system. And I'm trying to get this thing to show us what, you, hey, if you look, it's actually going through each one, but it's not showing the image. Um, yeah, see how it's cycling through? Let's do manual. Let's go back to manual because I don't want it to keep cycling through. Hey, Neil, again, uh, go, go right, right to the top, right, right to the top. Right here? I'm right, right to the top. I'm as right, right to the top as you can get. Um, and this one just goes from one to the other. Okay, this is this is annoying. It should be working. Okay, uh, anybody else have any ideas? If not, we're going to have to bounce out. I really wanted to see an image uh, because I think it would be really cool to see one. Maybe... Yeah, nothing clicking here, nothing clicking here. I have done, guys, I've done everything. We, I seem to remember him showing this was like the Amiga and you pull down at the very top. Well, there's no right click. Oh, you think it's like underneath, that kind of thing where you go underneath? So I'm dragging and it's not working. So maybe there's a mouse issue, but yeah, it looks like it's showing something and there's another graphics screen where we're not seeing it underneath. So maybe that's gonna require, I can, uh, you know what? I have the manual. Let me see if there's something in the manual. Um, page 14. Let's see if we have applications, title bar, uh, desktops and aliases. 
can you click uh, click near the bottom? I've tried clicking near the bottom. Oh, when I click on the bottom, I get some information. <gasps> there it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Good call. You yeah, uh, not very intuitive, but uh, you figured it out. I had to click and drag, and then it has it. So let's do that. Look at that. Have you ever seen a Commodore 64 do that? That is, whoa, that is phenomenal. Let me go to slideshow. Let's go ahead and go every five seconds. And now let's pull this up. And now it should, every five seconds, go to the next one. There it is. Look at that, guys. Good call, everybody. I think we should just let these run a little bit and see. So then it's, it's going back and forth, which is interesting. Look at that. Okay, so now we're getting a little more familiarity with the operating system. So that's pretty cool right there. Yay, I know, Michael. Uh, oh, that's my favorite. I'm sorry, that's my favorite of all of them. Uh, very cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, try and get my slideshow... I need to slide this back down. That is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and it's a little, I will say it's a little janky right now because it's trying to do that. Let me get this on manual and let's go back to options and go home. Okay, so now we, we got a little bit of the interface. Let's just do a couple more things and then I think we're gonna cut this live stream uh, and let it go. So there's our gallery, there's our nest tester. What is that? What's a nest tester? Oh, so uh, you can, looks like NES tester, N Nintendo Entertainment, pull from bottom. See, it told us on that one, that's pretty nice. So we could hook up a uh, game controller and we get, if I plugged in one of those to port two, evidently this operating system would support a Nintendo uh, Entertainment System controller. That is nice. Okay, let's go back home here. And... I'm still really curious how you would upgrade this OS. Maybe that Wi-Fi option does something for us. I have to play with that. Uh, and then test ground. What is this? Things, things are loading pretty quickly, though. I will give them that. How many of you are still hanging out, by the way? Don't you guys have anything else better to do today? <laughs> uh, 13 of you have joined. Wow. Uh, so if you, uh, and 14 of you, if you have not dropped in, uh, to chat, uh, please do that before we leave because I'm getting ready to I'm getting ready to cut this live stream. Done. We're getting ready to be done with this live stream. Uh, so let's see. Uh, this is some kind of UI test. Uh, I'm not sure what this does. Oh, I think it's just testing. Yeah, just to see how things work so that you can play around with it and check your user interface. I get it. Okay, got it. No, I said yeah, that's pretty good. I don't probably not anything you can. Yeah, can't pull that down. So here's your mouse kill. You can load that. You can view it. That's pretty nice. We will go home. Day of rest. Yes, it is. You all got to rest. I had to do the work. Sorry. Uh, all right. Uh, calculator drives themes. Okay, let's do themes. And it looks like we can select. Uh, oh, look, we can put our age, our name in here. We can. Let's see what else do we have. Um, this is bold system. Labels, uh, how do we, here's daylight. Oh, here we go, midnight, ooh, I like midnight. Custom, if we wanna change that. Daylight, midnight, I, I kinda like midnight. What do you guys think? I'm, I think I've, I've, uh, I've wanted to buy this, so this stream has been very educational. Well, I'm glad, Terrapin, thanks. Uh, 60 bucks, so what do we think? Um, if you wanna go through the process and install, at least now you have a video where you can go back and, and see how to get it done. I think under Vice it is, um, it is Probably worth the money, definitely, because you can play with it and follow along. It is something unique. It is supporting modern development uh, of the Commodore 64 or Commodore Echo system, especially in, in this case, 64. So I think it, I think it's kind of fun. Um, I think it's worth it just for, you know, we've had a day here. We've had a great afternoon, spent time in chat, hanging out. Uh, it's kind of like a user's group meeting from back in the day where we're installing this and trying it out. So I like it. I think I want... I like, uh, I kind of like gray. Let's see. Where was gray? The nice thing about this that I am digging is I have this now 
on vice on this uh, laptop so i can always just reload it so that's going to be nice all right let me uh let me go ahead and close this i've got my theme all set and i don't think there's really anything else i can do i mean i, I think i can go to drives uh, let's see if there's any software on here that we can look at if we go to our 1581 let's open that Ooh, doesn't look like it wants to show me that I'm getting an error when I hit open. Not sure why that is. This looks like this can eject it. We definitely don't want to do that. Uh, let's rescan it and see what happens. Not sure what's going on there, guys. Uh, maybe up here. Let's see. File. Open. Nothing there. Uh, here's some additional options here. This is pretty nice. Save background. Option select all, but I'm not getting my listing. Oh, look, we have different desktops too. Check that out. You can go to desktop one, desktop two, desktop five. That's pretty nice. So you have like a, a series of screens. Um, yeah, it's not wanting to open. I'm not sure why it's not opening that drive because I wanted to see. I don't know. I have to do some research on that. Uh, Michael says, thanks, Combs. Let's see, what does he say here? Uh, I don't know if you're going to get it. Thanks, Combs. Uh, truly enjoy your enthusiasm for rest. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, it is a hobby, right? Glad you installed it on Vice First. Not all of us have the space or time. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I would really recommend that you guys give this a shot on Vice. I will, again, I'm probably going to be playing with this and seeing if maybe I can get it installed on something else. Uh, oh, an archiver. I missed that. How did I miss that? All right, so if we need to archive, uh, we can do that too. All right, so I think at this point, uh, guys, uh, I think this was a success. Uh, oh, uh, 128 version. I don't know. I, I think this probably took a lot of time. I doubt that we'll see that uh, 128 version, but uh, who knows? Possibly uh, might be an option. So I'll tell you what, let's wrap this up. It is, I have been online for... How long have I been online? I know I've been online for a long time. Let's see. What's uh, I gotta get my screen back here? Uh, F11 is that right? Uh, oh, how do I get? D D D D function. Oh, function. If I can't get my full screen out out of full screen on Windows, uh, I'll have to play with that over here. But I don't need that anymore. I do. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. So here's my plan. Well, first of all, let me come back up to Matthew, and I want to thank Matthew again for. Uh, his kind, um, he dropped a chat, uh, a uh, thanks, super chat. There we go. I'll get it right here in a minute. So I want to thank you for that so much uh, for doing that for me today because that did help soften the $8 blow for that. Uh, again, what I will do now is I will go and I will, I think I'm just going to leave it. I've decided there's no reason to go edit this. I'm just going to leave it on YouTube. I'm going to put in time codes. I'm going to fill out that video description a little bit more so that people can jump around and learn what we've done. If you think there's something I need to make sure and tag into the video, send me an email at retrocombs at iCloud.com. If you are a member and in my Discord, pop it in the Discord. Uh, send me a note. Put that in. Uh, let's do that in uh, live streams in that area there where you can do that. And let's talk about that. Uh, and then I might even take some of these pieces out and maybe do some YouTube shorts to get people a little bit closer. But I think, oh, oh Michael, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, very nice of you to do that. I wasn't going and reaching for more. I was going back to thank him, but I want to thank you so much for that. It was a pleasure to spend time with you today, and uh, your super chat is much appreciated. Thank you, sir. Uh, Michael, I think this is your first time with us today, right? It, um, I believe so. If it is, wow, thank you, first of all. Secondly, thanks for joining us. And again, thanks to all my other standard uh, followers. Neil, it's good to have you. I know you popped in a little bit late. Xander, always great to have you. You come in, you pop in, you stay in forever. Uh, we got Matthew, who's in here on a regular basis. Uh, Jamie from Jamie's Hack Shack. Make sure you check out his channel, popped in today. Kevin was here, uh, which was nice. Kevin Noble, thanks for joining. I think this was your first time, too, if you're still here. I believe that's right. A new file, Phillips. Uh, with somebody else who is new today. So a lot of new folks popping in, which I just love that. We get some new members of the community. Makes the chat just so much more fun. Uh, Ed, six, oh, Ed popped in. I missed you, Ed. Sorry. Uh, it's good to see you here. 
as well. Let's see, who else did we miss? I think uh, Maurice was here earlier. Uh, he popped in and outside was here. Uh, just a great group of folks today. And it, yeah, I, I know I'll probably miss somebody through there. But I do want to let you know that I really appreciate all of you. Oh, Terrapin, yes, thank you. This was your first time too. And great to have you, by the way. Uh, just great support and uh, great uh, advice as we're going through this. So again, thank you to all. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I did do a fun little video that I posted yesterday on the... Um, uh, it's a little bit different than what I normally do. It's it's uh, it's matter of fact, it's really different than what I normally do. But it was the Astro House uh, Free Write Smart Typewriter, and the reason I did it is first of all they were kind enough to send it over to me for nothing, which is a pretty expensive device, and it's got this really cool retro feel to it. And I thought I want to do that because it does have this retro look with these modern features but it's also got some other cool stuff so if you want to see that and i did that really differently i uh, i broke out my old drama acting chops and made it in a film noir style so check that out i think you might have some fun hey uh martin uh thanks great times great to have you here too martin i think this was your first time as well so a lot of a lot of great uh, first timers in here today really appreciate all of you and i think with that it's time to close this live stream out. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang out and chat for just a little bit, as I always do after I cut the live stream. But uh, if you have any other questions, be sure and post those. And again, I will see you next time. Again, like, subscribe, do all that business down to help me promote this. Uh, drop a comment too uh, after and let people know so it helps promote the live stream so people can find it and I'll get all that taken care of. So thank you so much. Have a great Sunday. See you again, probably with a live stream in a couple of weeks. If I don't, again, this one wasn't even planned, but turned out just to be a great fun, great day today. So uh, you know what I always do, Retro Combs out and I will see you all later. Thanks again for joining. You, you guys were fabulous. Thanks for the help today. Couldn't have done it without you. Chat later, guys. Bye-bye.